Ma, please, I want to talk to you. You want to talk to me? Yes, ma. Um, who are you and where are you from? Ma, I'm nobody. I don't have anybody. I'm an orphan. You are an orphan? Yes, ma. You I... don't have any relative at all? I don't know of any. Before my foster mother died, she told me she's not my real mother because I didn't know. So now I'm stranded. I was staying in one uncompleted building. But I'm robbers came there and stole everything I made from my gala business. Now I'm stranded. I don't have anywhere to go to. What's your name? My name is Matilda. Ma. Uh, Matilda, so how can I be of help to you? I can be your house now. I can work, I can cook, I can do anything. I can be your house help. I can I can wash your clothes. I can take care of your kids anywhere. I just need shelter Matilda, over my head. Okay. Go do na passage, even if it's inside your passage or even in the kitchen. Biko, I don't know what will become of me if I go back to that uncompleted un un building. Please, ma. I'm genuine. I'm not lying. Just help me. Biko, I know you don't owe me any help, but I pray that God will touch your heart to, to just help me. I don't have anyone. Please, Matilda. Ma. Biko, please. Okay, enter this car. Are you serious? Please. It's okay. It's okay. God will bless you for anything you ask God. God will give you. Before you even ask, God will give you. Thank you so much. You don't like this life. God will bless you. Thank you. The world around you. What does it pay to be the way you are? You kill the joy around you. Such a vanity Infidelity It's such a vanity You're welcome to my home. Thank you. And uh, make yourself comfortable, okay? Sit down. Drop your bag on the floor. Thank you, ma. Thank you. No, no, no. Drop it on the floor. Ma, I don't want to stain the tiles. It will not stain the tiles. Even if it does, it will be cleaned, okay? Just drop it. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. I'm comfortable. Excuse me. Thank God I asked to. Thank God I approached this woman. Hey, thank you, God. She's a nice person. Matilda, use this and cool off. Um, by tomorrow, I will be taking you to a friend that needs a house help. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Meanwhile, uh, let me go up and come back. I will take you to your room. Out your own food? No, Ma. I will eat inside the kitchen. No, no, no. You don't do that in my house. Here in my house, everyone is important. 
So go to the kitchen and get your plate. You come and join me here. Go. Thank you. I, and later you give the gate man his own food at the gate. Right. That is after we must have eaten our own. Go and get your plate. Out your food. Take as much as you want. Hmm? Take more, take more. Thank you. Take enough meat. Now this one is okay. You're such a nice cook. Thank you. Don't say my friend will like you. Thank you. Um, who taught you how to cook? Mommy. Mm. It's alright. Eat your food. Eat, okay? <laughs> so, ma, what of your family? Your husband, your children? children are fine. I have three children. Two boys and one girl. My two boys are studying abroad while my daughter stays here with me. She's studying at the state university. She went to school. She will soon be back. And your husband? My husband is an engineer. I'm not asking so much no, about no. you. What do you do for you? <laughs> I'm a CEO of an agency that caters for women who are maltreated by their husbands and their husbands' relatives. Yes. And I'm also a businesswoman. I buy and sell gold. And I'm a big woman now, and you're really blessed. Thank you. I'm happy for you. Good job. Let me put. I'm glad you like it. Yes, I like it. to pick your call now. Mo, Mo. Yeah, yeah, hello. How are you? How have you been? I'm fine, and you? We are there. We are there. So, your husband, is he back? No, he will be back on Sunday. Hmm, you're really enjoying yourself. Enjoyment or enjoyment? Enjoyment without my husband around me. Hmm. <laughs> you guys are doing what you know with fools. <laughs> Can you hear yourself? Full love is not enough for me. Oh. I need my husband around me because I miss him so much. <laughs> love me, love car, love in Tokyo. You know, I don't believe in that four-letter word. Mine is Rukash. Monitors and bullshit. Wow. Mm -hmm. I know you. You are material things. 
Hmm. Maureen? To be honest, money answers all things. When you have money, you scar the whole world. Tell me what money can't buy. The most luxurious life? Comfortable home? Peace of mind? Just mention it. The highest ride. You can get it with money. So to me, money is everything. Dorothy, you won't change. Uh -uh. Yes. Uh, guess what? Mm. <laughs> Just guess. Guess a little. More please. You know I'm not good at it. Just go straight to the point. What is it? <laughs> okay, I've gotten a new house help for you. Oh my word! You did? Yes. For real? If you see this girl, you will like her. Oh, this is so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So tell me, how much do you know this maid? She's very quiet, hardworking. She's well trained, very intelligent. Fine. Yes, she's well trained. If you say so. All right. I will be waiting at least. Mm. I need someone around. I can't have my children doing the house chores. In fact, you would like her when you see her. So when are you coming? I will bring her to your house tomorrow. All right then. I know you are happy. I know you are happy. So the search has ended. See you then. Okay, okay, dear. Bye bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> ah, more, more. How does it feel to live the way you do? A house help. Well, I am so happy. House help. I can't wait for what? what does it pay to be the way you are? You kill the joy around you. Tell me, vanity, 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 vanity. Such a vanity. Hi. So tell me, vanity, vanity, vanity. Mom. Hungry. Is there food in the house? Yes, there's food in the kitchen. Wow. Okay, mommy. I'll see you later. I'm so hungry. Matilda did. Matilda? Who is Matilda? Oh, I forgot to tell you. She's the new house help I got for Dorothy. The new house help? And where is she, Mom? She's in the guest room. Hmm. Mom, I need to see this super cook. It's okay. Just be nice to her, okay? I'll be right back. From and who are your parents? Ma, I'm an orphan. An orphan? Dorothy, calm down. All right. Um, Madam Orphan, where do you stay here in the city? Okay. The my mother was staying with 
told me she's not my biological mother. She said she that she got me from the orphanage before she died. So right now, I don't have anyone. Really? In that case, you're a bastard. Dorothy. But that is it. Stop. Why are you taunting this girl? Huh? Maureen, I'm so sorry about this, but I'm just trying to get to know her very well. She's going to live with me, isn't it? Yes. I need to know her identity because from what she just said, probably her mother is a prostitute. Those that, you know, discharge their children either in the waters or anywhere. Dorothy. So I should be careful because... Dorothy. You are doing the right thing in a wrong manner. Yes. Your attitude towards her just now isn't fine with me at all. Please. Maureen, I'm so sorry, but you know me. I'm too materialistic. I have a lot of gold and uh, silver diamonds. I wouldn't like in a situation where I will come home one day as I'm looking for anything. I need to know her, I need to know where she's from, even the motherless baby home she came from or whatever. Who was the mommy that died after confection? Stop! I'm allergic to poverty. I said stop. It is obvious you do not need a house help. I need a house help. I do need a house help, but not the one I don't know where she's coming from or where she was staying before coming to my house. If you do, you should be able to trust whoever you're staying with. Trust her first. Really? Yes. Ah. Dorothy. It is obvious you do not need a house help. Matilda, stop it. Calm down. It hasn't gotten to that. I'm just trying to get to know her. She says she's an orphan. Since you are her shorty and um, if anything happens, I know you can foot the bills. And you, um, Dorothy, please. yes, you should trust whoever you are going to stay with first. I'm doing that already. Good. Yes. Hey. So take she, her back. Okay. She stays. So she stays, right? Mm. Thank you, ma. There's a room behind the parking stall. Hmm? Just. Clean it up and stay there for now. I will arrange where you will stay. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you for taking me. Thank you. I'll make you proud, ma. I'll do a very good job for you, ma. Matilda, dear. Thank you. Just feel at home and also feel free, okay? I'll make you proud. Thank you, Dorothy, she's a nice girl. Really? Yes, just trust me on that. I'll get to see that. You'll see. That. It's alright. <laughs> I'll be leaving. Heartless. Why you be so heartless? You're welcome, my angel. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how was your day? Mm, my day was hectic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. You're hungry. Mommy, would you believe that we had to stop at a fast food joint to get food and drinks just because Noel was disturbing me? I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. It's not even up to five minutes we got home now and he's saying that he's hungry again. Oh. Stop! Are you saying that my son can eat in his father's house? I, I, I don't know. Sweetie? Mommy? Lunch is served. Really? Go on, dishes. She's really cute. I'll see you later. So tell me about the lady. Mommy, the lecturer was boring. Hmm. And the lecturers? <laughs> no. Thank God I went on time. Now. Would you believe that the lecturer asked the latecomers to stay outside? Really? Thank God I 
got to class on time before he came in. They were outside having their lectures while I was inside having mine. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. You know that I stayed outside and received the lecture. It's all right. Whoa. Here's the. You didn't like this food, right? Um, no. Aunt Morin brought a new house up for us. She's the one that made the food. Wow, mommy, a new house now? Mm -hmm. Where is she? She should be at the back washing. I told her to wash the dirty clothes. Wow, I'm coming, mommy. Let me go and see her. Is that? You know food, eat, eat. You like the food? Yeah. It's so delicious, man. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me. How was the lectures today? Wow. Were you listening or uh, thinking on how to get home to eat food? It was hectic, but... But what? Don't worry. I got lunches for you today. I can't wait to finish. So, Mom, what's, what's the name of the new house here? Matilda. <laughs> that seems right. Really? Yeah. Don't worry, you will like her. What's your name? Now my name is Matilda. I'll be right back. they are sparkling clean. Watch out for the armpit areas. Look out for makeup stains and make sure they are totally removed and clean. I want you to do a very good job. Do you understand me? Good. This clothes are not even dirty. What do you go, God? What's your name? What do you want? I don't need them. Emma is fine. She's doing good with her studies, yes. Yes. I really thank God that our children are doing good in the academics. Oh yes, I really thank God for what he has been doing for our family. And he's still doing more. Yes. Oh my God! Oh honey! You mean we are finally going to have you back? Oh, thank God. I'm happy. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> I miss you too, my darling. Uh, hey, honey, lest I forget. Uh, I found a new house here for Dorothy. Oh, yes. You see this girl? She is well trained, hardworking. 
and they call it beautiful. Yes. Uh, it's okay. Let me allow you to rest your nerves then. We will talk later, okay? Take good care of yourself. I love you. Mm. Mm. God, I'm so happy. I can't wait to see my husband. Mm. I can't wait. I can't wait. Honestly. I hate her. You hate her, you say? I mean, how could you possibly hate someone you're just meeting for the first time? Mom, do people hate people for no just cause. Um, I get it now. Big says you're pathologically jealous of her because she's prettier than you. Will you shut your mouth? She can never be prettier than my angel. Tell him mom. Mm, but that's the truth. She's beautiful. I mean, you know the truth. Sitting down, and I'm a man, mom. I know when a lady is beautiful, mom, and I can attest to it that she's very beautiful. Oh, shut your mouth. What makes you a man? You're still a boy. Besides, I employed her to take care of my household. Can we change this topic? I, I know, mom, you, you employed her to do everything in this house. I mean, you, you employ her to virtually do everything in this house. Which includes baiting us, washing our bum bum. Well, Mom. are you trying to insult your mother? I am not insulting you, Mom. I am just telling you the truth, Mom. Really? Mom. I'm telling you the truth. What? What are you saying? Come, come and sit down. Let me hear you very well. I know what I'm saying, Mom. I, I, I think your daughter knows better. Yes, you're jealous of her. You think I don't know? You, you're jealous of her because she's more prettier than you. That's why you gave her all your your neat clothes and all this to wash her. God, this is my first day in this house and I'm already experiencing hell. How long is this going to last? Is this what I will be experiencing in this house every day in the hands of mother and daughter? They insult me, abuse me, call me all manner of unprintable names. That girl doesn't want to see me. Indeed. There is a big gap between the rich and the poor. Their words are simply apart. They are two parallel lines that can never meet. But come to think of it, mommy tell me and her daughter are very different. They are rich as well, but very nice and accommodating people. They appreciate me a lot. I wish they are the ones I'm staying with. God, will I ever endure this? Oh Lord, save my soul. Why are you 
still on bed. What is good about this morning? What is good about this morning? Are you not supposed to be at the kitchen making breakfast? Will you go to the kitchen and start making breakfast? After which you tidy the house, tidy the whole compound, take the refuge, go to the refuge. Come back here. I am not done talking. Are you alright? If someone is talking to you, you should stand and listen at the TV. Now go to the kitchen. Make breakfast. Hmm? After which you tidy the house. Make sure everywhere is tidy. Go to the compound, clean every nook and cranny, then pack the refuge, go down the street, dispose them, come back, and make sure you iron everybody's clothes. Am I understood? Now, leave. I went to make the house up. And you can't believe it. The stupid girl was sleeping us at the time I got to her room. House help? Oh. So sorry, I forgot to tell you. You came back yesterday very late, though. Almost midnight. Okay, so... When did she come and uh, who is she? Maureen, my friend, brought her yesterday. Yeah. And who is she? I don't know, but Maureen said she's an orphan. Poor oh, girl. So, where is she right now? She should be in the kitchen making breakfast. At this time of the morning, early morning like this, she's making breakfast. What kind of breakfast is she preparing that you have to wake her up this time? Do you want to shout? Rufus, do you want us to start our usual this early? Huh? She is a maid. Her duty is to make sure that everything is ready before my children wake. For heaven's sake, please. Your children? Yes. Okay. So, where are your children as we speak? Sleeping, of course. Sleeping? Your children are sleeping. And you woke up somebody's child at this time of the morning to go and prepare breakfast for your children. Can you see yourself? Rufus, what, 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 what is this? What are you insinuating? What? Do you expect my children to go and make their food when I employ the maid in this house? Do you? Dorothy, I don't have your time. You shouldn't. Because I'm paying now. the breakfast to be ready in a jiffy. It will be ready in a jiffy. Don't keep my husband and children waiting. 
Mora. It's all. Come on, will you go back and finish what you're doing? It can never be your mother. Mother, she's a stupid and dirty girl like you. Have the breakfast as soon as you're done. And don't call me mother again. I can never be a mother toothless. You'll be dirty girl like you. Heartless woman, nobody on this flight. Oh, no, no, no. Heartless. Why you be so heartless? This is nice. Sir, this food looks inviting. I'm glad you like it, sir. Madam, hope you're enjoying it more. Hmm, this is so as as it looks. Matilda, sir, I hope you kept some for yourself. What's the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? I want to know. She should eat what we're eating. Of course. For what? Because she's not part of the family. Excuse me? She's just an ordinary house help. Do you expect her to eat what we eat? She's a member of the family now. Excuse me? She's an ordinary maid. She can never be part of this family. Dorothy! What? Why are you filled with so much spite and bitterness? Over what? Over her! Excuse me. Probably one day you will get a seat so that the dining will be complete and ask her to dine with us. Well, what is wrong with that? Hello? How dare you speak such nonsense from your mouth? Dorothy. Yes? Look, okay, okay. I've been meaning to ask this. Do. What is wrong with her referring to you as mother? I am not her mother. I can never be mother to an ordinary household. I'm allergic to poverty. You should know that by now. Look, I've always advised you. Be kind to those you meet on your way up. Because certainly you will meet them on your way down. So treat everybody nicely, please, for your own good. <sighs> Thank you, Apostle Rufus. Obi, for this beautiful money salmon, at least I get to have salmon on the dining table. Allow me to eat this food. Exactly what I intend advising you to do. I am going to eat my food before I go to the office today. Excuse Soon. me. Quite a skill, but please keep quiet while eating it. I should keep quiet. Mm. Is something wrong with you? Nothing. Table manners. Table manners. More. More. You see? Now you are dragging the food. The food prepared by somebody you hate so much. Look at you. You finish yours. You are not eating my own. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's my money. Look. No. It's my money. No. No. This is how to feed your wife. Who be that? Welcome. Thank you. Where is Auntie Maureen? She did inside.
What's happened to her? Mother, no, no, she don't flow gate. No, that's why open her for her. She come for. Ah, ah. How can she oh, fall like that? Mother, no, no, that's why she just fall down for ground. No, no. Are you sure you didn't do anything not to her? No, mother, nothing. What's that? We go. What's that? What's that? Help, help me. Let, let, let us take her inside. Hey, Matilda, help me! Stop crying and tell me what exactly happened. I don't know. From the first day I went to the house, that man never left me. You were there. You saw how she spoke to me the first day. You even told me to come. Let's go before the start should start walking. I don't know. She hates me and maltreats me at will every time. I don't know. Why? I don't know. I'm not a thief. I've not stolen from her before. I've never disobeyed her. I, I do the washing, the cleaning, everything. I'm even the one that does the cooking, but I don't eat. Okay, yesterday, after serving them, I was in the kitchen eating. When she came, collected my food and poured it on the floor in the kitchen. Ah, Dorothy did? Yes, that's how she treats me. Sometimes she will even pour it on my head. Hey, mommy. Mom, we really need to do something about this. This is so bad. Very bad. This is the height of it all. In fact, I can't take take this anymore. I can't. Eh? Which woman in her right senses will treat her herself like this? Oh, please. I just want you to act like I no, 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 no. I'm going to teach her a lesson. Okay. I will deal with her. Ma, please consider me before you, you don't take have to me. beg me. No, Matilda. Matilda, I need to allow my mom to deal with that woman. She's so wicked. Please, I don't even want you to act as if I told you anything. If you do, she will say that I'm spreading her name, that I'm, I'm making people to see her as a bad person, and she might chase me away. Please, she will throw me away. See, I think her problem is trust. Maybe she has trust issues. And you don't even blame her. I'm a total stranger. She doesn't even know me from anywhere. I, I, I believe, I'm praying for her. I believe she will change. I know she will change. Maybe someday she will just realize I'm genuine and nice and she will start treating me well. But please don't even act as if I told you anything. Mm, it's okay. It's okay oh. if you say so. Sorry. But just know it that I am not happy. I'm not happy at all. Sorry. Huh? Drink water, Matilda. Yeah. Oh, my stomach, I think so. I know it is since yesterday. If I don't know that, just don't dry fasting. Hey, hey, hi. God, my stomach is sorry, okay? And you, you, you need food. I, do we still have food? Yes, mommy, there's still food in the fridge. I'll make food salad for her later. Oh, uh, yes, please. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Ah, it's okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Where is this girl? I wonder where this girl is, eh? What is keeping her? Is it not to go to the market and come back? She will be back. Probably she she might have lost her way. What arrant nonsense? What do you mean she lost her way? Is it the first time she's going to that market? Mom, I'm sure she went to sleep with one of her boyfriends. Hey, Matilda. Hey, Matilda. Hi. Where are you returning from? From the market, ma. Which of the markets are you returning from? The one I know or another? Do you know what the time is? It's almost 6 p.m. You know when you left this house? So start talking. Where are you coming back from? Yes, ma. It's the market. Ma, I told you. You told me what? Thank you. No, no. What? I can't sit down there. Ma, please take it to her. Oh, shut up, Morris. 
And as for you, must you flex like your worthless mother? You shameless bastard that wants to bring forth another bastard. Olivia! What's your problem? Why are you scolding her? Oh, shut, shut, shut up! No, oh, just look at her. What, what, what's that? What? I, I think I see, I see money. What's that? Bring, bring it out, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Oh my God. Mom, this is 5,000 Naira. Where did you get this money from? Somebody gave me. Somebody gave you? Yes. Hey, hey, hey! Wait till. Someone did what? First thing you know. Someone dashed you 5,000 Naira. Yes, ma. What did you do for the person? Ma, nothing. No, it's just grace. Hey! So, you were on your own, walking, and somebody called Matilda! You can take this one. Is that? Ma, somebody dashed me this one. Ma, say, stop talking before I, I, I kill you here. Ma, see, ma, it's grace of God. Grace? Grace? Hey! Then this is name is Grace, right? No, like I mean, it's because. Grace of God made it a single. Okay, because of grace of Satan, I've not been getting money. Really? And you want me to believe it? Yes. My friend, get out from us, please. Oh, 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 ma. Okay, let me tell you the truth. You know, I told you I've not eaten since yesterday. Mm -hmm. So when I, I went out to go and buy stuff in the market, my eyes started turning me. My strength failed me. And I fell on the ground. So when the person came and asked, I, I told the person I'm hungry. So the person now gave me food and mom. Really? Mom, this is a cock and bull story. Don't even believe every lie she's spitting. That person must be a good Samaritan. A Father Christmas or Mother Christmas. That's the truth. Oh, someone saw you. So you were in the market. You weren't there to fall. So that people will pity you and let them be as a wicked person. <laughs> and what's the case? Do not go! My mom, let me kill you! Who says? Hey, my kids, my mom. Which one? Oh, get out! Which one? Papa sleeping with different men, they're coming to collect my mom. Mom, this is the boyfriend's house in the middle of the office. Mom, this is wickedness. My son, will you shut your mouth? Oh. Leave me alone. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah, I'm going to tell that. Uh, I'm going to tell that. Why? Olivia, take this money. Get me Shawarma and uh, Smoothie while seeing Molly's off. An ice cream. I didn't say ice cream, I said Smoothie. This is yours. This? This is yours. <laughs> Emmanuel. Daddy. This is your order. You make your order, eh? Yes. This is yours. And this? And this? Thank you so much, Dad. And this? And this? Oh, this is for Matilda. What? Why? You got this for me, right? And bought the whole of this bag for Matilda. Dorothy. Yes? You all have enough. That poor girl has nothing. Really? Why are you like this? Why am I like what? Uh, Matilda! Matilda! Daddy, 
Oh, thank you, my dear. So how are you, my dear? I'm fine, Daddy. This is yours. Chineke, for me? Yes, my dear. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Ma, thank you for me. Oh, You're go welcome. bless you. you never lie. <laughs> get out. I say you should get out. Come out to the kitchen. Dorothy. What? What is it? What is what? No, oh, what is bitterness and bickering? Sir. Huh? Sir, ma'am, please. Let me My friend. Will you shut up? Let me finish what I'm saying. Please, don't have your heart. What is this? Yeah? You expect me to say that? You should have asked me what you want. Call me on phone, not what I want. Don't, 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 don't bring that bag. Just put the bag. Give him the bag. I don't need it. Get it, get it. Get it. What's wrong with your mom? Dad, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with mom. She has the whole world. I can't she? Oh God. For a poor girl like Matilda. Anyway. <coughs> Daddy. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. Oh, you don't even know what woman be careful what you do Cause you don't even know You don't even know Proud woman be careful <laughs> You're smiling <laughs> My lovely children I hope you behaved yourselves while I was away. Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Good. Emmanuel, did you religiously attend your lessons? Yes, Dad, of course I do. Mm. Olivia, what of you? Did you take your studies seriously? Yes, Daddy. Trust you. That's great. Um, what of the housemaid, the new housemaid? Uh, how are you coping with her? That, that reminds me. Dad, when you traveled, Mom and Olivia, they've been maltreating this girl. And Matilda have been suffering in this house, Dad. That they compare her to do all the house chores in this house. And yet, they starve her. But why? I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know why. Dad, mother and daughter are in a better position to defend themselves. At least you can start with her. Daddy, he's lying. He's lying against me. Who is lying? Dad, I'm not lying anything, no. This is unbelievable. Dad, the other day, Aunt Matilda went to the market on an empty stomach. That she fainted on the road. Leave me alone. A good Samaritan saw her on her way and revived her and even gave her some money. What? That when she came back home, Mom and Olivia, they beat her up. Emmanuel, are you sure of what you're saying? Dad, I'm not even done yet. M Mom and Olivia, they collected the money the Good Samaritan gave to her. Olivia! Dad. Is this true? You're shaking your head! What is this? Dad, I... I don't even know why they hate her so much. They, they, they're just jealous of her, Dad. 
You just want to kill this poor girl. Only God knows what that young lady may have said about me in public. They are dating my image, my, my reputation. I provide for everyone. There's enough food for everybody in this house. How come some of you are eating and others are starving? What is this? Why? Acceptable. And where is that woman? Where is Dora? Dora, 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 how is Matilda doing? Uh -huh, that reminds me, have you spoken to your children of recent? Oh, yes. Dorothy. Yes, dear. I just asked you about Matilda and do not pretend as if you didn't hear what I said. Maureen, please, can you not ask me about that thing? Why do you hate her? Yes. What did she do to you? Tell me. Tell me. What happened? Can you... Anyway, let me just go straight. The other day my husband returned from his trip. And bought loads of gifts, shoes, clothes. Just name it for her. Can you beat that? Your husband is a nice person. Oh, yes, he is. I am suspecting them. You are what? You hear me? Oh, Dorothy, how can you say such? Huh? have to think like that because I know your husband only saw her once and that was that morning he traveled <laughs> ah, Dorothy sometimes you make me laugh you behave as if you are an illiterate which I'm sure you are not whatever of course I'm going to collect those and give them to my daughter you will do no such thing ah don't it already <laughs> you are talking as if you've forgotten who I am. Dorothy, tell me. What? What exactly did she do to you? Why do you hate her so much? I ask again. Tell me. You see? You are not saying anything. Meaning you don't have a justifiable reason to hate her. Yes. Why do you hate her? Or what's the Eh? They send you. I know why I'm asking you this. Because no one knows tomorrow, Dorothy. Tomorrow they say is pregnant. I just want to cancel you as a friend. Thank you so much, Mrs. Guidian and Counselor, for your wonderful advice. But please do not patronize me. I don't need it. This is my house and I know how to control it. The other day she went to the market and fainted. And some good Samaritan saw her and fed her after which she gave her 5,000 Naira. So what do you call of it? I collected the 5,000 Naira and sent my daughter to go get me she and mama and this lady. You did what? Yes, I did. You collected the 5,000 Naira someone gave to her. Why would I collect it? Dorothy, you are Excuse me. You are a wicked woman, yes. You called me wicked because of a common housemaid. Get up and leave. I beg your pardon? Get up and leave my house. Maureen, wait. Calm down. You are too fast. Are you asking me out of your house because of a common house help? Dorothy, I said get up and leave my house. Get out. I don't want to see you here again. Wow. You are very wicked. Just get up and leave my house. Yes. Maybe I will come and take her out of your house. I'm coming to take that girl away. 
Maureen, do you know you sound funny? You are asking me out of your house because of a common house. You are still wasting time. Leave! I've insulted myself enough by coming here. Which house are you even talking about this? Thank God my husband is richer than yours. Whatever, just oh, get please, out. Please, 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 stop. Get out! Stop! I know it from today that our friendship is over. Get out. I see that please, 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 please. Nonsense. Oh, please. Who can stop? So in that so one thing. Hey, get down, I don't want to, I don't even want to come. What if I don't even know what comes next? Oh, you don't even know. One woman, the girl wants you to see. Because you don't even know. You don't even know. Where has this stupid man gone to? Huh? I don't know what is wrong with this Zaki. All he does is to eat and eat and eat. He can't even do a single job. Just to open the gate and close it. I bet you feel better. Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today Cause tomorrow is not sure You don't even know what comes next Be comfort, look at me It's so, I will so deal with you that eh? Wait Wait for me. Let me know what Zaki, come here. You're not even sure. I said you should come here. Oh, no. Where? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have you been doing? Madam, the day I turn like the jeeps. The jeeps, and they get on this to Madam. I won't come out of my go open gate for you. They think they come again. I don't go back. Madam, I've no vest. Madam, are they inside the island? Are they inside the island? Are they shit? I won't make her come. He can't go back. He can't come again. Stupid man. Thank you, ma'am. What are you good at? It's not to eat my food. Eh? Why won't you have running stomach when you eat everything you see in this house? I've been at the gate. Okay, for what seems like eternity. I'm uh, sorry. No best. Try that with me again and see what I will do to you. No best, my friend, ma close my gate. Thank you, ma'am. Call you one. Thank you, ma'am. Need Thank you, ma'am. Nonsense, man. Thank you, ma Imbecile. Thank you. Is this 
tall he got. Yes, ma'am. Let me have Why is this woman treating me like this? I haven't done anything wrong to deserve this kind of treatment. God. Ah, this is becoming too much. I don't know how long I'm supposed to take this. It's even better. Let her take the clothes so I can have peace. <sighs> tell me, you won't believe what I'm about to tell you now. Mom, is everything okay? Dorothy told me that her husband came back from his trip to Abuja. Mm -hmm. Got her and her children gifts. And lots of gifts for Matilda. Wow, he's such a nice man. You should have allowed me to finish. She said she's going to collect those gifts from Matilda and give to Olivia. Why? This is shared wickedness. I'm even surprised that you of all people could be friends with that kind of woman. I don't like her. Trust me. I had to ask her out of my house immediately. I told her it is over between us. Mom, you did what? Can you imagine that Matilda told her that she fainted on her way to the market. A good Samaritan saw her, gave her food and dashed her 5,000 naira. Dorothy collected that 5,000 naira from Matilda. What is even wrong with that woman? Is she mad or something? Dorothy <sighs> is devil incarnate. Mommy, this is incredible. This is unheard of. That was why I had to do what I did. <laughs> by asking her out of my house immediately. Mom, you should have talked some sense into her rather than walking her out of the house. You are talking as if you don't know who Dorothy is. Dorothy is one person that doesn't take advice. When I was trying to advise her, she was calling me Mrs. Advisor. Keep your advice to yourself, I don't need it. That was what she told me. So what do you expect me to do then? Mommy, I pray nothing happens to Matilda. Nothing will happen to Matilda. And if anything happens to that girl, I will deal with Dorothy. I've already told her to return that girl back to me if she doesn't need her services anymore. Okay. Let's watch and see how it goes. I'll put you in front In front of my melody You are all that matters You are all that matters I'll make room for two you and I, Jesus, you are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus, you are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, way, oh, way. You are all that matters. Oh, well, oh, well. Na, 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 na. <coughs> what? Ah, no. Wow, this is beautiful. I mean, it's amazing. You sound so great. I never knew you had such a lovely voice. How long have you been standing and listening to my melodious voice? Not quite long, dude, but I'm sorry for badging on you this way. It's okay, so I don't go. <laughs> Sit. Oh, okay. Auntie. Auntie, why are you hiding this beautiful gift of yours? 
I don't understand. Okay. Can I ask you something? Can you possibly light up a candle and hide it under the bed? No, my again is away. Fine. And so Matilda, I why do you want to kill this beautiful talent of yours? Okay. I I want you to join our choir. <laughs> I know you, you're very funny. You and I know that's not going to be possible. I'm nothing but a may house help. What time do I have? Eh? I need to go to the market, wash clothes, clean house, do all those things. Your mother will not even allow me to go out. Please, 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 don't even make such suggestion for me. Else you want me to lose my job. Your mother will just kill me and chase me away. See this roof over my head? I appreciate it. Biko. I... I understand what your fear is, but you know I got your back always, right? I am going to talk to Daddy Gio about this, and I'm begging to talk to my mother to allow you to join the church choir. No, please don't do that. I appreciate your concern. I appreciate your love, Malamba. Pico, don't do that. Your mother might think I'm the one that sent you to go and ask somebody to talk. Hey, hey, don't do that. I thank you for loving my voice. Thank you for appreciating my talent. Please, I don't want to lose my job. Please. Um, what about you doing a collab with one of these top gospel musicians like Messi Chimo and um, Shoma Jesus and so many of them? <laughs> oh, I know what I'm saying. And You're funny. Hey, look at the way you're advising me as if I'm somebody's daughter. Why are you talking like that? Where will I even see those people? Talk more of doing collab with them. And how... My brother... Let me show you something. You see, um, I am following almost... Um, okay, this is Mrs. Uh I, I want you to chat her. Understand? Chat her and tell her that you're a good artist. You can sing very well. Which with which phone? Um, okay, okay, fine. You can make use of my phone this night. Please don't tell my mom. I can allow you to, to make use of this phone this night. Okay? Chat her. Maybe you can be chatting her every night. She might respond one day. But don't don't tell my mom that I'm giving this phone to you every night. You would do that for me? Thank you so much for appreciating my talent and you know going extra mile to make sure I, I hey, become somebody. Hey, it's nothing, Thank it's you. nothing. Just you, just take my And phone. she's the one who says yes, that. that's her. Oh, oh yeah, you see she has lots of followers. There's, Most five million. You see? Hey, see goes okay, okay. Yes, yes, that's it. Okay, see what I'll do. I will write to her. Okay. After writing to her, I'll write to Gozi. Alright. You understand? Okay. Um, um, let, let me just give you my password. Okay. This is me. So how did you people see to this service? Daddy Gio. It was something else. It was like the Holy Spirit came down from heaven and ministered to me directly. Oh, That's I great. was so exhilarated. Hi. Um, considering what happened at service today, you can see that your house help, Sister Matilda, is gifted. Oh yes, I was stunned myself. I didn't know she could sing like this. Such a nightingale voice. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, I would like you people to allow her to join the choir. You know, if allowed to join the choir, that girl can go places. Mm -hmm. She can be, she can be a vessel in the house of God. I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, you know, that girl is like a daughter to me. And I will do everything, anything to encourage her. Uh, that's good, that's good. Um, Sister Dorothy, you're not saying anything. Uh, uh, Daddy G, oh, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we can manage. Yes, yes. Um, you know, God will bless you. God will bless both of you for so in the life of an orphan. Yes. Actually, it's uh, your son, Noel. 
that told me about Sister Matilda. Noah heard Sister Matilda singing in the kitchen while she was washing dishes, singing. He said once he heard her sing, he realized that this is God-giving gift. And it is not ordinary. As a matter of fact, she is a gift to this generation. But e e Emmanuel, he didn't tell me. He wanted to surprise me, perhaps. <laughs> I thought our son is smart. Um, <laughs> so it would be good if you will allow her to join the choir. The choir practice holds every Tuesday and Saturdays, 5 p.m. Hmm? Yes. Uh, yes, I hope it will be good. Yes. How do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we encourage her. Yes, we encourage her. Yes. She'll go places. Yes. Thank you so very much. Yes. Go well. Go well, Chief. Honey? Nothing's gonna yes. last forever. Nobody will stay on job forever. You mean for what you do today. Cause tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. Oh. You don't even know what woman be careful what you do Cause you don't even know You don't even know Madame Madam 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 happy Sunday Madam the madam. Sorry, ma. Stupid man. Come on, close this door. Fool. Madam the Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. Because you're not even sure. Proud woman. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you do. Hello. <laughs> nah, every time quarrel, quarrel for this compound. Nah, eh? Why are you going to get a bit? Oh, my God. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you do right now. Tomorrow's gonna come. There will be no peace in this house. If I may ask, why is it that you are stiff-necked into believing that you have a problem? Hmm? Why? Have a problem? Me, me, have a problem? Dorothy, I have advised you and I will keep advising you that you should shun this unnecessary aggression. Yes, because hot tempered people, they are prone to having high blood pressure which can lead to hypertension, stroke, okay? Rufus, me, aggressive, hot temper, only me. I want to have my normal Sunday siesta. 
okay? If you are not tired of your necessary bickering, go out there and continue to rage like a mad woman. For all I care. Wait, 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 wait. Rufus, you called me a mad woman. You called me a mad woman. If you are not a mad woman, now just explain to me why a woman in her right senses will return from service on a Sunday only to start barking all over the place like a mad dog. Tell me, why? Me, a mad dog! You're very stupid. Mm -hmm. Yes! You are a demented fool for uttering such bunkum from your mouth. You're a stupid man! Dorothy, you call me your husband. A stupid man. Yes! A demented fool. You hurt me! In fact, you're not just an ordinary stupid man. You're a man when men are not at home. Look at you. A non entity. Trying to play a gentleman. Oh. <laughs> you know, first. <laughs> Look at you. Nonsense, man. Fool. Anyway, I will not allow you to spoil the good things that I got from service today. As a matter of fact, get ye behind me, you Satan. Me? Satan? Rufus, me, Satan? Eh? Me, Dorothy, Satan! Not only am I dog, now I am a Satan. Let me show you how Satan behave. Let me show you how Satan behave. I will tell you. Look at you. Dorothy. Call, call him me a Satan. Dorothy. You are a Satan. You are the Satan. Oh, you're running away. Come! Let me show you. I should have shown you how Satan's behave. Foolish. Why are you so heartless? So, Chief, how is family? Well, Daddy Jill, family is fine. But um, there are skirmishes here and there, and there is a particular big problem. Well, um, for two weeks now, uh, I have not seen Sister Matilda in the church. In fact, since that day you and your wife came here, and I ask you to encourage her to manifest the God-given gift in her. I have not seen her again. So what happened? Tell me, it put up for That is the problem I was referring to. You know, when we left, my wife made our house a living hell for everybody. Apart from her daughter Olivia. Sister Dorothy. Exactly. As a matter of fact, she gave Emmanuel the beating of his life and turned the whole house upside down. Why? Because she felt Matilda would blow. Yes, because of her performance in the choir. And she said over her dead body, should Matilda remain. Uh, is Sister Dorothy that Carlos? That is you. That is an understatement. Oh, yes. Now, let me boast your bubble. You know, I traveled the other time. I came with so many gifts for them. But it happened that the one I gave to Matilda is more than the rest, uh, given her background. Do you know this woman? Collected those clothes from Matilda and gave them to Olivia, her daughter, to use. The other day, when we got home, the dad told you she beat him on her When we got home, she gave Emmanuel 
the greatest attainment. Yes. Then she went ahead to insult me. There is no name in this world that I want to Dorothy gave me the greatest insult of my life. She called me all sorts of names. I am a demented fool, a stupid man. Any name you can think of, negative one at that. Well, you know I'm a good Christian. There is no way I will lay my hands on my wife. No, 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 no. As a Christian, you are forbidden from eating your wife. <laughs> so what I did was to quietly abandon the room for her. For the past two weeks, I've been sleeping in the guest room. You know what that means for a Christian? <laughs> By the grace of God, I have to hold myself. You understand? But Chief, you are the man of the house. You ought to take care of all this. <sighs> Daddy Chief, I am trying my best. But I cannot chase my wife out of the house. Yes. So, the, the only thing I do now is to just to pray so that God can touch her heart. Um, Chief, um, don't worry. I'll make her time and talk to Sister Dorothy. I believe she will listen to me. That would be very nice of you. So, I, I have a strong belief that uh, the relationship between man and God is purely personal to the individual. Yeah. So, the only thing we can do is to pray for ourselves and see how we can manage them. And go, I can't change her. It's only God that can. It is well. Thank you, Pastor. So, um, I need to leave now. It's alright. It's alright, Chief. We'll see you where tomorrow. It's, it's well. <laughs> uh, but you saw her during the service. Yes, right? I did. And uh, the only thing is that you will be the best. How does it feel to live the way you do? You have uh, that. The Please, please. <laughs> you know what they asked her? Why they have to say Olivia know the house? Now leave me at that fine houseman. Now leave me at the house. You mean Matilda? Yes, now that fine girl. So where is she? Okay. See her. See her. See her for that place. Now they fetch water for that place. Okay, okay, okay. I okay. tell you. I get too far. I'm fine. Welcome, sir. I can see you're busy. Yes, sir. But there's no one at home. They've all gone out. I know. I actually came because of you. Because of me? Yes. I know everyone might have gone out, so I came to keep you company. Okay, to the best of my knowledge, I can't remember telling you that I'm lonely and needs company. Please. I don't need you to keep me company. Moreover, you should be somewhere, maybe walking or... Don't you have anything you're doing for yourself? Ah, uh, yeah. I am a 300 level student, computer science. Well, I'm done with my lectures today. Well, um, Matilda, I really like you. The first day I set my eyes on you, I've not been myself. Matilda, you are so beautiful. If you accept to be my girlfriend, I promise you, whatever you want, anything you want in this life, I will do it for you. Yes. Matilda, you won't say anything. I understand. Don't worry. I don't know. Just be very careful. Why would he tell me that Olivia is the one forcing herself on him? Did I ask him? Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today, cause tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. Oh. You don't even know what woman 
Told me that she saw you around the neighborhood. Me? Did the person actually tell you she saw me in your neighborhood today? Yes. That means the person must have lied to you. So that I did not come here today, except now that I just came. Here? Yeah. I mean the neighborhood. <laughs> Maurice, your eyes are blinking. A telltale signal that you're lying to me. Someone told me that she saw you around the estate today. Which estate? Our estate, of course. And who could that be? A friend and also a neighbor. She said she saw you this afternoon. Oh yes, I forgot. I'm sorry. It escapes my mind. Maurice, you mean you came to this house when you rightfully know that I will not be around? I know now. Nah. I just came to a cafe down the street. Which cyber cafe? You left. You mean you left all the cyber cafes in school to come to this? So which cyber cafe did you come to? Maybe I called a friend of mine on the phone who told me he was in a cafe down the street. So I, I decided to come and see him in your neighborhood. And which friend are we talking about here? If you don't know him, he, he's Raphael. I'm sure you've not met him. Son of a bitch. Could it be he was here earlier today to make advances at Matilda? Hmm, it better not be what I'm thinking. Hello? Olivia, are you here? What? What? Fine, whatever. Are you sure? Yes, whatever. What is it? I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay, if you're fine. Uh, but there is something I want to tell you. What is it? I've been longing to tell you this for a very long time. It's about Matilda. And what about that low life of, of a house help? See, don't you think we can make money from that girl? That girl is very beautiful. I mean, very beautiful. I admire her a lot. Don't you think you can actually make money from that girl? She has everything in a woman like she's very beautiful, her backside, everything. I know one big guy in this town. He runs beauty pageant. You can take my sister to the guy, the guy will sign. Maurice! How dare you open your mouth and tell me such nonsense? You are very, very stupid for saying that. I mean, you sit here and talk about Matilda in that manner in front of me? It is money. Oh, please, spare me that crap. You made me tattoo your name on my chest, all in the name of love, and you're here admiring another girl. I think you're very, very stupid. Idiot. Get out of my father's house. Get out! As a matter of fact, leave my house. Get out of my father's house. You idiot. Don't steal here anymore. Baby, come back now. It's money we're talking about. It's money now, baby. Just come back. Get Whether you like it or not, that girl is very beautiful. And she's good to go. Let's make let the girl make money. If you are done inside, just come out and I'm waiting for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. It's my girlfriend's house. You are the living God. Do. 
Mom, you look perplexed. Are you okay? There's nothing one will say in this house. Mom, what is it? You were not here to see what happened today. What happened? I... It's your dad. I think it's time to throw her back to the street where she belongs. Mm, what did you think that to me? <laughs> Matilda! <laughs> Matilda! Mom, you're confusing me. Matilda, Matilda. What did she do? Tell me. Do you know? Or do I say, do you remember Brother Paul from our church? He was here today with that his brother, the one that traveled to Spain seven years ago. Mom? You mean Desmond, the drama guy? Exactly. Hi. Mommy, how was he looking? How oh, that handsome man? That same handsome man was here today to ask for Matilda's hand in marriage. What? Matilda again? Hey. It's time to put an end to this madness going on in this house. Yes. I mean, why would she be getting all the attention? Why? Why Matilda, 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 when my daughter is here? There's something that I can't still comprehend. Something is not right. I mean, she's getting all the attention for real. Just imagine an ordinary housemaid, an orphan from the motherless baby's home. I'm sure her mom, her mother would have been a mad woman or a prostitute who, who dropped her in the gutters and left her to die. I hate her so much. Imagine Morris looking her way. You don't say. Yes, mom. Yes. And I can't sit here and watch that evil nitwit get married before me in this house. No. For her? <laughs> she has really crossed her limit. I employed her, and it is time to deploy her to the streets where she belongs. Yes, Mom. Let's send her packing. Yes, let's send her packing. Heartless. Why you be so heartless? Yeah, yeah.
beg you, ma'am, please. I don't have anywhere to go. I will go, I will go. Let, let me let me greet her, okay? Madam asked me to go. What is going on here? I fired her. On whose authority? On my own authority because I employed her. So you think you can just load yourself around here like the Lord of the Rings? What do you mean by that? Who gave you the impetus to do that? Huh? I'm asking you. What are you asking me? Are you ah! Daddy! Idiot! Who gave you the right to sack her? Rufus. You slapped me because of this bastard. And I will slap you again if you don't shut out your dirty mouth. Who do you think you are? Look, instead of her to leave, you will be the one to leave this house. Story! I'm telling stories. I'm telling stories. Stories! You're telling stories. You think I don't know you're sleeping with her? I'm sleeping with her? Yes! And so? And so? What can you do about it? Really? This is how you spoil my name all over the place. You drag my name along the mud. Before the judge. Before the DGO. Are you okay? I should be asking you that question. Hit me one more time. And you will regret ever knowing me. You're daring me. Of course I am. You think I don't know why you want her out? Why? You and your lazy daughter. Because shooters are coming after her. Instead of your lazy daughter here, that's why you want her out. I don't care. You don't care. She should leave my house. But I care. Idiot. How did I marry this devil in the first place? How did I marry you? Huh? It's all right. I will show you the stuff I've made of if you continue with this nonsense. And you, you lazy fool! I know how to handle you, idiot! Matilda! You are not going anywhere, you come inside! Take your things and come inside! Zaki! Make sure you lock that gate! She must not go out! Idiot! Matilda! Come with me! Come with me inside! Let me see what this bastard is! Idiot! Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody was doing this foolish girl because of you. Dad slapped my mother. I would deal with you in this house. You will see Pepe and we put Pepe in your eyes. Witch. Witch. You don't even know what comes next. Ma. Please. I'm sorry. Nico. Can I go inside? Oh my. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Then I I was upstairs listening to music. You were upstairs listening to music while your mother and your sister almost evicted Matilda from this house. Made from a timely intervention. I, I, I didn't know that. I will show this woman the other side of me.
Can I please see her? You can't see her now. Why? If it's time for you to see her, you will tell her. <sighs> Just calm down, she'll be fine. Oh, please. God, you better let me down with this one, I beg you. Don't worry, she'll be fine. You have never told you. Just please have this cup of me. Please, just please have this cup. You have never told me, I beg you, this for good for this. Please have this cup of me, I beg you, please. I hope she didn't sustain any internal injury. Mm, I don't think so. Like I said, just a minor shock. She'll be fine. Okay, please. Just do anything within your power to revive this girl for me. And it's about the money I'll pay. Please. Well, uh, we'll do our best. And I want you to calm down. Like I said, she'll be fine. And I assure you, she will not even spend much time here. Okay. So calm down. Okay. Doctor, please. Can I, can, I, can I see her? Yes, yes. But she's unconscious. And I don't want you to make me as we get there. No, no problems. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Thank you. Vanity, vanity, vanity. Such a vanity. It's our vanity, vanity. Infidelity. Infidelity. It's such a vanity. Thank God. I can thank you enough. Thank you for preserving the life of this innocent girl. Because I don't want to be a murderer. I do not want to be associated with the name murderer. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to live the way you do? You'll be fine. I can assure you. Does it pay to be the way you are? 
I just pray nothing bad has happened to her. I'm talking about my money, you're talking about her. Let something happen to her, then bring back my money. Mom, I know that she has been looking for an opportunity to run away from this house. Now that she has seen 25,000 naira, that is when she decided to run away from this house. Hey, this is my fault. Hey. Olivia, what is wrong with you? This is not the first time she's going to the market with such amounts of money. So why are you saying this? Uh -huh. So why are you saying this? But she has been returning. Mm -hmm. She has been returning with full stops. Mommy, would you believe that this girl left this house since 12 noon? Look at the time, almost 7 p.m. and she's not back yet. Hi. Ha. Hi. This is my fault, though. Eh? This is my fault. Come on, please. Bring her back safely. Dad, any luck? No luck. <laughs> I, I went to the police station to report her missing. But they told me that uh, it's rather too early that she come back after 24 hours to make official reports. God, I have a premonition that something bad may have happened to her. Perhaps she entered one chance. God forbid. Rufus, if she likes, let her enter one chance or two chances. I don't even care if she's been kidnapped by armed robbers or ritual killers. All I care is my money. She should just send that money. Maybe drop it at the gate. That is my own. I need my 25,000 naira. Dorothy! Uh -huh. Why are you like this? Like what? Eh? I know she's been planning this all along. Yes, it's my fault. I should have been sending her this bit by bit. Go and buy pepper 500. Return with 1,005. Buy onion. Go and buy meat 3,000 naira. Buy this one. Go and buy something 2,000 naira. Buy this one 3,000. Return and go out. This is my mistake. Nothing should happen to this girl. <laughs> Emmanuel, um, I, I hope nothing happens to her. That girl is too good. She's just too good to face something like this. Emmanuel, please go and get me a glass of water. A blessed woman, a blessed woman, why you been so heartless? Daddy Jill. No, 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 no. All is not well at all. It's Matilda. She's missing. <laughs> yes, I've gone to the police. But they advise that uh, I should come back after 24 hours to make official report. <laughs> yes. It's all right. Thank you, Daddy. Is she at the church? No. She's in heaven. Rufus, she should not use my money for offering. Please, I am begging her. Because I'm going to kill her. Dorothy! What? You're a devil! You're a Christian devil! That's my own. Emmanuel. 
Manuel! Let me have the water, please. My ears are tingling me with this kind of rubbish. You're a devil! You're a Christian devil! Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful of what you do today Cause tomorrow is not sure You don't even know what comes next oh, You don't even know What woman Be careful what you do Cause you don't even know You don't even know So make you feel good, oh. make you do good, oh. make you do the right thing. Oh, feel good, oh. God, I hope. Nothing bad has happened to Matilda. Oh God. I have every reason to believe in you, God. I know that you will not allow anything bad to happen to her. I know you will not allow anything bad to happen to her. God. God, please. Matilda, please. Come home safely. For a while, don't you think you should go home and freshen up? No, please, I, I'm okay. Have you had anything to eat? Sincerely, I'm not hungry. I appreciate your concern. I really understand, but at least you have to eat something. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, if you said so. I'll come and check. The trip later. Alright, I appreciate this. You're welcome. Good night.
Let me let me go to the nurse and hello. No, 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 I have to go. Listen. They will kill me. Ah, they will be looking for me. Nurse, listen to me. No one is going to hurt you. I am here to protect you. I will not understand. Doctor, please tell me because someone to come and see you. Please, please. 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 I think I'm okay. It's just no small headache. Don't worry. You'll go home as soon as you're good to go. But first, we need to get in touch with your family. So, what's your name? Where are you from? And who are your parents? My name is Matilda. Are, are, you, sure, are you sure she's fit to talk? Yes, yes. So, uh, who, who are your parents? I live with Chief Rufus. Yes. Chief Rufus? Uh -huh. Yes. Wait, you mean Chief Rufus or Rufus group of companies? Uh -huh. you, you, you know the chief? Yes. Who doesn't know Chief Rufus? He's one of the biggest dudes in this town. A big time politician and a good man. But wait, is he your father? Uh -huh. No, I'm just ordinary house helper. And I'm sure they must be looking everywhere for me. Oh. Doctor, please let me go. I'll be fine at time. It's okay. Uh, don't worry. I will put a call across to him. Okay? Oh, that would be so wonderful of you, Doctor. Thank you so much. It's okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's okay. You'll be fine. I'm okay already. No, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Don't worry. You will go home again. Thank you. Nurse, come and get some injection. Alright, thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Bye, nurse. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, oh. You see, Miss Matilda, oh. just relax yourself. I am here to take care of you. When the doctor certifies that you're fine to go, you will leave. But for now, just relax yourself. Hey, are you hungry? Just tell me this. Ah. Uh. Sorry. Sorry. Uh. Sorry. Should I call the doctor? Uh. Oh. You cannot leave now. Matilda. Where are you? Since yesterday. God. God, please, protect her. Daddy Jill. Hello, 
law post. No, no, no. We've not heard from her. Oh, she will come. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Yes, I believe. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I know you will do it. Thank you. I like it. Oh my god. I can't wait to have this. Mm -hmm. Look at the stones. Oh, so nice. I ordered it already. Really? I'm just showing you to make How you much like is it? it? <laughs> Google it. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Oh, this one would be good for that wedding. Exactly. Hi. My, oh huh. my. I can't wait to have this. Mama, how much for you to make it? Really? Yeah, I wanted to make you like it. Why not? <laughs> I love it. I just received a call from Dr. Phil. He said uh, Matilda has been admitted at the hospital. What? Yes, uh, according to him, she ran into a car. That stupid girl. She had wanted to kill herself so she could frame this family a bad one. She should kill herself for all I care. Please show me the list. What and I need you to Google it so that we know the facts. I'm going to the hospital Good regions to pass on. Maybe when she comes back probably with one leg, one hand, stitched me, one eye, one <laughs> eye. She will just keep calm and stop parading herself as the most beautiful girl in this house, attracting men for marriage. Please show me this thing. I'm interested in this. I Mommy, can... she can die in that hospital for all I care. I need to see the lace. Mm. If I wear this one to that wedding, eh? Oh my god. Daddy. Yes. I don't even know what's wrong with mommy and Olivia. Forget them. Forget them. What should be uppermost in our minds now is the safety of uh, Matilda. I pray that uh, she's still alive. I think she is. I I remember you telling me uh, that the chief said that she's fine. Oh yes, he said that. Uh, he said it's a sign of good things. And, uh, it's all for good. I just pray good things that happens to her. I pray so myself. Dad, I want to tell you something. Yes. When I grow up, I want to be like you. You have a very wonderful heart, Dad. Really? Yes. It's alright. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. How? Nobody on this place. My dear, thank God you are alive. We were so worried. 
sleep all through the night. Daddy, I'm so sorry. As a matter of fact, we I had to report to the police. Okay. Yes, I went to the police station to report you missing. But the DPO advised that I should wait for another 24 hours before I come back. Hmm? So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better. Daddy, please, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to put you through all that. Look, you Hi, don't... Mommy. She's fine. Hi. Matilda, you, you don't need to be sorry, okay? It was an accident. It could have happened to anybody, all right? So it's actually my fault. And who are you? My name is Afonwa. I drove the car and knocked her down. Ah, the car that you ran into. Thank you. Thank you for bringing her here. So, um... Um, let's have a bit, sir. Um, while my car knocked her down, I found this on her. Yes, sir. Give it to him. Oh, you are a nice person. Thank you, eh? You see, you are an honest person. So, have you had anything to eat? Well, in any case, Emmanuel, we'll get to you prepare something, huh? Eh? All right. Mm -hmm. So that uh, we can bring for her. Okay. Then. Okay? All right. In the meantime, mm -hmm. I would like to go and see the doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Then. Thank you, Daddy. Please, sir, uh, be well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that we can go home. Vanity, 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 vanity. It's all vanity. Oh, Matilda. I, I bought you some privileges. Um, you can take something in. The silver here, I can make you something to eat. Oh, it's are you hiding and uh, where are you headed? What's in there? It's food and water for Auntie Matilda. I beg your pardon? My food and water? Mom, it's my own portion of food. So? I, I, I told you that Dad instructed me to get food for her, and you refused to dish out food for her, Mom. So I had to transfer my own portion oh, of food here. Calm down. Let me get this. You want that stupid girl to eat while my son goes hungry? You know it can't work, right? It won't work. Mom, she she needs the food. Mom, she, she has been in the hospital since yesterday. She needs to eat. I, I, according to the man that knocked her down, she just regained consciousness this morning. Do I care? Mommy, please. Do I look like I care? I don't give a hook if she starves to death in that hospital. Let me have the food. No, Mom, I'm not giving you anything. I know you've always hated her for no reason. Well. You just want her to die, but she's not going to die. I don't want to be mad with you. Give me that food. Mom. Give me that flat. Mom, it's my own portion of food. I don't know. Zaki! Come here! Mom, mom, please. I asked you to come and you are cat walking for me. Don't you know how to run? I've been trying to run, but you know... 
make sure he doesn't leave this house. If he does, you will be fired. Ha, madam, you see these gates? Nobody go past here, even rats. Don't go past this gate today. I'll go lock my gate. But mom, why, why are you doing this? Mom, uh, Zaki, Zaki, give me that thing. Look on his feet, look on his feet. Look on his feet, I can't get out of my sight. Mom, this is my own portion of food. I, I have the right to give it to anybody I want to, mom. Mom, 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 mom. to dish food for you that my dad instructed me. She refused. No problem. I I took my own portion of food and I poured it in the food flask to bring for you. On my way coming here, my mother had costed me on the way and collected the food from me and asked Uncle Zaki to lock the gate. That if he doesn't do it, she's going to sack him. Because of the fear, Uncle Zack locks the gate. And my mother collected the food flask and the table water I, I bought for you. And I poured it on the floor. Right. It's okay. It's okay. Just right in front of me. I, I just don't know what you did wrong to my mother. I, I just can't tell. It's okay. It's okay. I know you love me genuinely as a sister. I can feel it. I appreciate your genuine concern and love. Well, please, I'm keen about you to stop. I wouldn't want you to get into your mother's trouble because of me. Emma Benu, please. And now that she threw away the food, what are you going to eat? Man shall not live by food alone. Oh. What's your name? Um, my name is Emmanuel. I'm sorry to hear this ugly part of your family story, but it's okay. In regards to what should we eat, I don't want to distress yourself. I'll go down the street and get you something from one of the trees. It's okay. Auntie, I, I am truly sorry for everything. I'm sorry too. You're going to be fine, okay? And I want you to know that I'll always stand right here beside you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Auntie. Auntie. I need to speak with Auntie Maureen. Please call her for me. Why do you want to talk to her? I just want her to know my whereabouts. She may be worried about me. You never can tell. Yeah, um, that's true. Uh, do you have a number? Of course I do. Okay, please dial it. Yeah. Oh, it's ringing. Hello? 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 Who is this place? Auntie Maureen is me, Matilda. Oh, Matilda? Is that really you? I hope you are fine. <laughs> There's a problem, but I'm getting better. I had an accident. You had an accident? Yes. I, I hope it's not serious. I'm getting better. The doctor said it's just a minor shock, but I'm still at the hospital. Okay, okay. So, which hospital are you? Havana Hospital. I'm calling you with Noel's phone. Havana Hospital. It's alright. I, I will come and see you there, okay? It's alright, Auntie. How is Thelma? Uh, please, just take good care of yourself. Send my regards, Auntie. I will be fine. Thank you, Ma. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. All right, bye. How does it feel to live the way you do? You hurt the world around you. What does it pay to be the way you are? You kill. The joy around you Vanity Such a vanity Infidelity Is such a vanity Until you tell me Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. So how are you doing? Mm. To the glory of God, I'm recovering. I'm getting better. The doctor said it was just a minor accident. No bruises. No internal bleeding. Mm. Just shock and mm. body mm. ache, headache, mm. severe headache. Sorry, huh? Mm -hmm. What about the Noel you used his phone to call me? He has gone back to the house. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And tomorrow, everything happened within the twinkle of an eye. I didn't even know. I was just singing. All of a sudden, I got carried away. And I ran into a car. But God may have it. I, I just, I just entered like that without looking. And the, the driver knocked me down. Hey. But good a thing, he's a good man. He's even the one that rushed me to the hospital. You know some people will just hit you like that. Um, and run away. Yes. Especially when it's your fault. Mm -hmm. yeah. But no cable no matter. Matilda, I can see you're getting better. But Matilda, how could you have crossed the road without watching? Huh? I'm scared away. I was singing and 
I... Matilda, you mean you had an accident just because you were singing? Yes. Huh? No, not just because I was singing, but because I did not look well before crossing the road. Matilda, are you sure? It's okay, it's okay. Thank God she's getting better. Thank you, Madam, for coming. And you're welcome. Have you eaten? Have you taken anything at all? I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You will join this one. I'm going to keep it here for you. Uh, you brought food for me. Uh, it's just a uh, small provision. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. You're welcome. Mommy, I think Matinda did not tell us exactly what happened. My instinct tells me she's hiding something for us. Why do you say so? Mommy, you know your friend. I know how heartless she can be. I feel they are subjecting that lady to emotional torture. And she really needs help. We need to help her. So what do you suggest we do? Mommy, well, let's bring her here. Let her come and stay with us. Maybe we can enroll her in one of the universities. That's exactly where the problem lies. Your brothers are already studying abroad. And you're already in the university here. Mm -hmm. Mommy, we can do something now. But the only thing we can do for her now is to help her acquire any skill of her choice. Yes. Mommy, I think that lady is too intelligent to go for skill acquisition. I feel the best thing for us to do for her is to enroll her in one of the universities. Vanity, 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 such a vanity. It's a vanity. Mommy, can you see something now, please? We really need to help her. Don't worry, I will think about it. Let me see what I can do for her. Okay, Mommy. Mom, I'm tired. I need to go upstairs. to study you. I know the things you want to say even when you've not said them. I want to ask you a question. Am I free to love you? Mm-hmm. No, sir, 
I, I don't even understand your question. Ha, no, please. You are not free to love me, please. I know this would come up somewhere. Huh? I know you'd be wondering why I'm saying this. Because probably you weren't expecting this from me, but after this true, and I know my heart is not deceiving me. Matilda, I fell in love with you from the very first day I saw you. Oh. Huh. Huh. Hey, see, even if it's true, even if you genuinely love me. My madam will not allow that to happen. She would rather kill me. I'm just, I'm just a common house help. Huh. Don't let this bother you. You're beginning to overthink the whole thing. Just say yes to my proposal and... Watch me handle the whole situation. I promise you by the time we get to the bridge, we will cross it. Please, just be the mother of my unborn kids. I beg you. But hold on. See, I, I don't even understand this. You're too... You are cute, educated, rich. Why would you want to settle with a low life like me? An orphan, a common house help. Or you just want to take advantage of me, right? No, I know, but no. I won't let you do that. No, listen, listen. You just want to deceive me, Matilda, sleep with me. Matilda, listen up. I am not that kind of man. I am not in your life to take advantage of you. I meant well for the both of us. Can't you see? I, I, I love you. Vanity, vanity, vanity. Such a vanity. It's all vanity. Young man, I really want to thank you for taking responsibility for your actions. Right? Um, if it were some persons, they would have done hit her wrong. But you stayed back and ensured that uh, she was safe. Okay? Thank you so much, sir. I I honestly appreciate this. Well, you already know my house, so if you to come at the time. Sure, I, I will do my best to check on the people from time to time. So I Hi, precious evening, ma. Oh. Matilda. Matilda. So you can see more, okay? Yeah, it's okay. Um, Noel. Uncle. I have to leave, okay? It's fine. Take care of yourself. It's fine. Chief. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Alright? Take care. Take care of you. Thank you very much. Can you see how stupid you are? Hmm? This is how you keep embarrassing yourself before visitors. You behave like a stuck illiterate, like someone who has not seen the four walls of school. Are you just noticing it? No, 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 wait. Have you forgotten? I didn't go to school. I'm an illiterate. I've fomented, yes. I agree. Good. It is good that you've confirmed that you are a stuck illiterate. Therefore, anytime I have visitors in this house, Stay upstairs, remain in your room, instead of coming here to embarrass yourself. Oh, oh, oh. have you forgotten where illiterate states? 
Market. Good. So you go to the market anytime I have visitors. He is my market. Yes. This city is my market. Why am I even left from the way you're talking? Oh, my friend. You are just a demented fool. A mad dog. Let me be. Let me be. Look. Be careful. You be, be careful in this house. Be careful. I will deal with you if you don't take care. Oh, oh my word. I'm scared. I am scared. Now I understand every complaint Noah was making at the hospital regarding his mom. But it's okay, I want you to just know that you'll be fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you for me. One more thing. I would appreciate if you keep everything we've discussed to yourself. I don't want you to discuss with another person. I will. I'll be going to the village tomorrow to meet my parents. I'll go and tell them that I've found a wife. And I'm sure they'll be glad to hear that their only son is getting married to you. out there with that man? Mommy, that's the man that almost ran over me with his car. That's not the question. Answer me. I was thanking him. I was appreciating him for everything. For what? For knocking your stupid body down? Look at her, mom. She's so senseless. Go to the kitchen and make dinner. Mom. What? Mom, she, she, she was just showing appreciation to the young man. Will you keep quiet? You bonehead. Mom wasn't talking to you. Mm-hmm. Now go to the kitchen and make dinner. Quick. Mom, what's going on? She's just returning from the hospital. What is your business? Okay, no problem. Dad must hear this. If that place this, I will have the one to talk to. Daddy! Mom, Basu! Mommy, I think she wants to bring another suitor to this house. Now you go to the kitchen and start making dinner. Stop looking at me like that. Mommy, mommy, please. The doctor said I'm not fit to, to cook or for stress, please. Oh, really? I forgot. Sorry. Let me tell you. Just keep quiet. Mommy, are you sure she's not trying to bring another suitor to this house? Not under my watch. This woman. This woman. What is wrong with you? Huh? Where have you decided to sell your soul to the devil? Yes, you are this wicked. I don't understand. Where have you decided to sell your soul to the devil? What kind of useless woman is this? Matilda! Matilda! Come here! What's your problem? Mom, we punish you for this thing you're doing. Please do not. No, don't get it. Are you alright? Look. Yes. Is that even to show up? Yes. Now 
the doctor says you should rest. So you go to your room now and rest. Don't do anything in this house. Daddy, mommy will beat me. Would you just keep quiet? I said go and rest. Now! Thank you, Daddy. Are you only You go to the kitchen and protect dinner now. No, oh, please, Dad. I'm not ready to enter the kitchen. I just made my nails. Olivia! You're talking to me like that! Seriously, you should take it easy on yourself. Do you know, my dear, that is somewhere. On a very good day, I'm sure she will come back to this palace. I don't know where my daughter is. Dear Lord, will I ever see you again? You wait. Just calm down. You'll get yourself caught if you continue in this way. You're already losing some weight and your subjects will soon start talking. I want to see my daughter. I want to see Diola. Please calm down. She might be somewhere. But where she is right now, we do not even know. But I know God will bring her back to this palace. God. Please. God. Please. I want to see my daughter, Diola. I won't just say hi again. I was gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be meant for love what you do today. Cause tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what the hell. What's wrong with you? Why are you clutching your stomach? Um, Dad, I'm hungry. <sighs> You're hungry? Uh, okay. Go upstairs, huh? go to my room, get bread and uh, butter from the fridge, huh? All right, okay. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And tomorrow, get some for Matilda also, so that she can take her drugs, okay? Oh, that's true. So make it feel good, make it do good, make it do the right thing. Oh, feel good, make it do good, make it do the right thing. So finally, you found that. Man, I'm the happiest man in the whole wide world. It's been a very long time I've been praying and asking God to send me someone that I would go this journey with. Someone I'm going to spend my entire life with. You know, I said, God heard my prayers. I said, Okay, son, I'm taking your calls. I'm sending you an angel. <laughs> and God just sent me this angel like never Wow, baby, this is He's written on the right. He's not in me. And then serious in me. He's the one who is doing me big and I'm not sure who's on it. This one is what he did for me. Oh, no, go! You are the twin son of your father. When you're talking about this girl, it's as if you're talking about the normal girls you know. This girl is not just the normal girls you know. This is an angel I'm talking about here. This woman is quite different from any other woman you think or you might be, or might be coming to your mind. So my man, don't be carried away by her beauty. Beauty, they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. So you really need to learn a lot of things about women. You get? 
what what do you know you're saying? No, no, no. I know, I know beauty. No, I know what Wait, I'm saying. Wait, what do you know that you're saying? Hey, let me tell you something. This girl is an angel that you said before. That girl is so special. There's something about this girl that, that you don't understand. This girl's energy is quite different. Her aura, her personality. And man, bro, I don't think I'm making the wrong choice here. Well, I'm happy for you. But I know your parent must be very, very happy once they hear this movie. Oh, sure. They will be very happy once they hear this movie. Well, I intend going to the village tomorrow to oppose the kingdom to break the news. And I'm sure they'll be so glad to hear this great news from me. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. This is serious. Man, I need to see this day. I can't wait for my parents Ooh. to hear this gist. <laughs> you know, eh, there's something I've not told you before. Prior to this moment, my parents had wanted me to get married a long time ago. Uh, they wanted me to start giving them grandchildren, you know, those kind of bizarre yeah, parents. Yeah. But eventually, it didn't go the way they thought it would. But today, I've got the news that will gladden your heart, and I can't wait to take it from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, um, uh, well, um, she's a Yoruba girl. What? Yeah. See, what is the name? Tribe doesn't really matter here. It's not about tribe. No. Most important thing is, we love each other. That's what we love each other. My brother, tribe matters. Yeah, no, 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 no. You of all people should know that tribe matters. Don't oh, forget that thing, This is 21st century. We're talking about tribe here. Tribe does not matter. We love each other. She loves me. I love her. You know, we, oh, we've chosen each other above any other thing. Listen, if you know what is good for you, you and that girl should end whatever feelings you have for each other. Now that you have not gone deep, I know what I'm talking about. Yes, you and I know your feelings. You know where we're coming from. Listen, so tribe matters a lot. I should end whatever I've just started. What? What you know you're talking about here? Listen. We have gone beyond the oceans, the shores of the seas. We have gone deeper than the ocean itself. There is no going back. As a matter of fact, we put this separate. Just understand that. David, let me tell you something. Looking at the score, you think there's anything in this score right now? This score is so empty. There's no back end to speak anything. There's no going back on this one. Come and tell me that one thing. You, have you been able to find true love? If finding love is easy, go and find true love. You're telling me that. How can God send me something from heaven and you expect me to take it back? Give it to who? Are you serious? Beyond what I was thinking. Better, man. It's alright, though. George Arbasa. George Arbasa, how come I'm not Arbasa? I'm not an idea. God, you go to this place. So, what's up? We move straight to. Okay. Um, I'll call Sonic to tell him uh, to catch up with me later then. Greetings, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I'm just coming from the construction site. Your Majesty, you look disturbed. What bothers you? That's the situation. You will be fine. That I know. I just hope so, my friend. Life has not been so fair to me. Really? Even as a king? My friend. Engineer. 
I am going down gradually by the day. Go, go, go. Your Majesty, God forbid. Don't use your mouth to, to, to call bad things for yourself. Something bothers me so much. What is it? I don't just know how to tell my story. Is it that serious, Your Majesty? I have the time to tell you my tears <laughs> Your Majesty, no matter the situation, it's not worth dying for. So you just have to take it easy on yourself. All I know is that God is going to step into your matters. That I know. Nobody do So make it do good. You're welcome. Thank you so much, sir. I'm chief. This is for you. I've won. Chief. I'm taking it back. What is this for? Chief, I've come to let you know that Matilda and I have decided to settle down. I'm so happy to hear this. Look, Afuma, there is no problem at all. Just go ahead. So, <laughs> what date are you proposing? Um, first of all, I would say thank you so much for the way you accepted my proposal. Okay. But Chief, um, there's a problem. A problem? What is it? Um, Chief, Matilda confided in me. She told me she's an orphan. <sighs> but that's not the problem. This is what the problem is. Since she doesn't have a family of her own that would stand and receive the bread price of Matilda from my own family, I want to beg you for a favor, sir. Favor. What favor? Chief, can you please stand in as a family? My son. My people have a proverb that uh, the Pandegian that the Pandegian prepared by a little child is always filled with seeds. Therefore, I will forgive you and even Matilda for not considering me her family. You brought this dream to me in the first place because you've already acknowledged that I am her father. Look, Matilda is not just like a daughter to me. She is indeed a daughter to me. Okay? So I forgive you for in that path, all right. Um, I am her father, my door is open. Feel free to come in anytime with your people so that you do the needful. Come on, <laughs> chief. <laughs> I am so excited. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> you don't know how happy I am. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, you don't know how I feel right now. You, you, you have gladdened my heart. Chief, cheers to this. Indeed. This is wonderful. I want to let you know that I love Matilda so much. I love Matilda with everything in me. There is something about Matilda. I, I can't live without that girl. I for one. Chief. You see, Matilda, she's an epitome of love. So there's virtually nobody that will come across her and will not fall in love with her. <laughs> you see, I love that girl with everything I've got. 
Okay? But I must caution you. Don't ever hurt that girl. God forbid. Chief, prior to me meeting you in person, I've heard a lot of awesome things about you. Really? Yes, people said wonderful things about you, but you have proven to me beyond every reasonable doubt that you're way better than they even referred. Chief, you're a good man. Thank you. And for this that you have done, I want to say this earnest prayer from the bottom of my heart. That may the good Lord continue to protect you, preserve you, to down your fourth generation. Amen. You're a great man. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate this. <laughs> yeah. Mom, how can such an ordinary house help marry such a handsome young man? Never. No way. Mom, we're never going to let this happen. I'd rather die than allow it to happen. I hate that girl. I hate her so much. Mommy, did you say his? I detest her. I despise her so much. <sighs> and to think that my husband is playing along. That man that wants to marry her has the temerity to ask my husband to play father to that stupid house help. <laughs> Let me see how they will achieve it. It can only happen when I'm dead. Dead and gone. Mommy, did you see that handsome man? Did you see how that man looked like? That man is every woman's dream. Mom, he's my choice of a husband. That is the kind of man I dream about, the kind of man I want to spend the rest of my life with, Mom. Mom, I can't let this slip off my fingers. We have to make this man mine. Oliver, please. Mom, I can't watch this happen. That man has to be mine and mine alone. My friend, shut up, let me think. Just shut your mouth. My father is a handsome man, a rich man. What stops you from getting yours? But mom, I thought you were supposed Please. to be on my side on this. Please! Allow me to think. Well mom, while you're thinking about it, try and make plans on how to make that man mine. Yes, that man has to be mine, and mine alone. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? I can't believe you're not even on my side on this. Did you see that handsome? My friend, shut up! Mommy, he looks rich! What is your problem? He looks wealthy! He has to be mine, Mom! He has to be mine! Then make him yours! <gasps> Don't you want me to get married to such a young man? How handsome and rich he looks! Nothing's gonna last forever Nobody will stay on top forever be mindful of what you do today Cause tomorrow is not sure You don't even know what comes next Oh, you don't even know What woman you care for what you do Cause you don't even know You don't even know Not even sure. So make you feel good, oh. Make you do good, oh. Make you do the right thing. Oh, feel good, oh. Make you do good, oh. Make you do the right thing. Cause you're not even sure. Pride, woman. 
Be careful what you do. Be careful what you do. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you do right now. Tomorrow's gonna come. Before I move into the business of the day, permit me to introduce the people I have with me. This is my father, His Royal Highness, about to lend you the eighth of the ancient kingdom of Okozu. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you, Chief Rufus. And by my right, he is my bosom friend, my childhood friend. He is by the name Engineer Mweke David. I am Dr. Afumwa Alfred Afumwa Elotanna, the Crown Prince of the Asian Kingdom of Okozu. I am a medical doctor based in the US. Well, um, you are all welcome to my home. Thank you, thank you. Particularly, Your Royal Majesty. I'm indeed very delighted to have you here. Thank you, Chief Rufus. Uh, you see, uh, my son here, the Crown Prince of my kingdom, told me about your daughter, Matilda. Ordinarily, Chief, I'm not supposed to be here. But due to the circumstances surrendering what my son told me, I had to breach the royal protocol to be here. And please, Chief Rufus. Your Majesty. Can we see your daughter so that we can proceed? So, uh, I will say for her now. All right. Emmanuel! Emmanuel! Dad! Please come. Um, greetings, Your Majesty. Thank you, my son. Greetings, Uncle Afonwa. Emmanuel, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Greetings, sir. Dad, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Please uh, fetch your sister Matilda. Um, all right, sir. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you. I mean, Mr. Afonwa, that is calling you. Mm. Yes. Okay. I'll come with Franco. Okay, Her Majesty. You are serious. Please, Her Majesty. Well, you're looking very beautiful. I, I never knew my big auntie is this beautiful. Um. Wow. I said, go, I'm coming. First though, we are waiting for you. You know I can't wait to drink your wine. You're hmm? not a serious man, you know. I am good. Omalicha. Omalicha. Go! 
姑，姑娘。Chief Rufus, Your Majesty, I must confess that you have a beautiful daughter here. Thank you, Your Majesty. And Prince, and Prince, my son, Father. you have indeed made me proud. <laughs> my name is Afumuelo Tanna. Exactly. I am truly the son of my father. Yes, you are your father's <laughs> son. <laughs> uh, Chief Rufus. Your Majesty. Can we proceed now? Oh, yes. Uh, so that. I want you to relax yourself. Your mom will be fine, okay? No problem. You need to stop crying. Come on. Hmm? Don't worry, she'll be fine. Let's go inside. Sam, you have seen what happened. We can't continue staying here. We have to go now. We'll come back some other time. Hmm? We have to be on our way. King is right. Yeah. Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top forever. Be mindful love what you do today. Cause tomorrow is not sure. So make you feel good, oh. make you do good, oh. make you do the right thing. Oh, feel good, oh. make you do good, oh. make you do the right thing. Cause you're not even sure. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you do. 
Nonsense. I said you should turn this car. Do you want me to turn it for you? My eh? God. This super, you are a devil. You are a devil incarnate Christian. Nonsense. John, look for a way to turn this car. No, don't look for a way. You, you are leaving my house this time. Okay. Stories. Story, story, story. Hey. Are you with my son? Yes, we're going to make sure you're okay. Very much okay. Will you keep quiet? Keep quiet because... Are you doing okay? Birds of the same feather. Birds of a feather, they say flocks together. It's <laughs> alright. Let us get home. And do what? What will happen when we get home? You will see. Mm -hmm. It's alright. Oh, John, move this car now. Let's get home. Mommy, please stay. You are not going anywhere. You are a member of this family. As far as I'm concerned, you are my daughter. Daddy, are you hearing me at all? Zaki! Come here. Daddy, please. please stop begging me. What is it? Where are you? Now go in there. The sister to pick any little thing she has in the house and let her move out. Help her to move out. Now! Hey, hey, hey. I can 
never be mother to this as in this just keep quiet you, you are not even worth being her mother in the first place hey, 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 Idiot. calm down i'm about to take your secret affair away from you but you think i don't know what is going on in my house you think i can no no you think i can i am not bothered with anything you're thinking my thinking cannot think you're thinking do you understand me? Now go in there and pick your things and leave. Oh, now! Okay. If we're looking for someone to leave, it should be her, not me. And please, don't say that again because you see this house? I am not going anywhere. Come in, let me see you. Nonsense. Daddy, please. I don't want mommy to go. I don't know what people will say if they hear that you asked your wife to go because of a poor orphan like me. Please, let me go. I met you people in peace. I want to leave you people in peace. I don't want to go inside again. Let me just go for here. Please. Now, will you, will you just keep quiet? You are a member of this family. You are my daughter. She's not even worth being your mother, so don't even call her mommy. What is it? Mommy, mommy, mommy. Now get inside. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Mommy, please. Are you going to get inside or you want me to carry you inside? Daddy. I said, get inside. Daddy, please. You will beat me. You will beat me. She will beat you in my presence. Daddy, you want me to carry it? You want me to carry it? Daddy, 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 do you mind sharing it with me? I mean, they say problem shared is problem absorbed. Your Majesty, stop sulking and tell me all about it. Engineer, Majesty, I do not know how to begin my story with you. Majesty, just start from somewhere. I, I. We have a daughter that I do not know if she is still living or dead. Your Majesty, did you just say you have a daughter apart from the princess I know? Yes. <laughs> Tell me all about her. I. I was once married to one Dorothy. She was my age-long girlfriend way back in school. Everyone in school knew us together because we were the best couple on campus. But Dorothy's love uh, for me started waxing cold as soon as things took a different turn on me. As it were, Diola was born a few months before I lost my job. Is downsized. Unfortunately, I am one of those that was asked to go home. I don't have a job as we speak now. <laughs> Wait, Joseph, was that story for me? 
<laughs> he just left the house and came back. So for me, this rubbish for me. <laughs> but you know the one I gave the list of things we need in this house? But the one I told last night that there is nothing in this house and I gave you a list for things to buy. And you left this morning to come back and tell me this rubbish. You just said you're very stupid. You're very stupid. Don't try me this morning. Dorothy! Did you just say that to me? The one behind you. I just explained to you what happened in my office. And it sounded like this. No! Let me clap for you now. Congratulate you. I should clap for you. You left and came back to tell me this rubbish. I only to do what? There's nothing in this household. Your daughter has not eaten. As you can see, she's crying. She only ate in the morning. She has not eaten since. You need to buy her baby milk. You telling me this rubbish now is really making me angry. Just said she needs to feed. You shh. Okay. If our baby is hungry and needs food. What happened to your breast milk? So this is your plan, Joseph, eh? This has been your plan all along, for my breast to sag, because I gave birth to your baby. Joseph, you are an idiot. You are a fool. Your plans do not work. Not on me. Think I'm a fool? No. It do not work on me. I, 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 hey. I don't get it. I don't get it. Dorothy, just because you don't want your breast to sag, our baby should die of hunger. What has come over Everything you? has come over me. Everything. Everything. Look at me, all dried up and nothing mother. I've not fed well since I put to bed. What do you want me to do? To feed your breast and your baby morning, afternoon, night? And not eat well? Just if all my mates are in their husband's houses, enjoying themselves, but I'm here stuck with you, suffering. Suffering for what I know nothing about. Don't get me angry this morning, no. Don't try me this morning. Joseph. I remember going into this marriage with you. I regret marrying you. If I had known it to be like this, I wouldn't have married you. I swear. Instead of you to think of solutions to salvage this problem, instead of you to think of remedy, you are a problem right now. But you are here for eating trash. Party. May God have mercy. And on you too. Look at you. Sit down now. Wait for me to come and look for solution to your problems. Let me tell you, if you do not know, the witches in your village are responsible for what is happening to you. They have remembered you. They are responsible for your predicaments. Let me tell you, they have used your certificate as a tissue paper. They are looking at me, look, waiting for me to come and look for a solution for you. Sit down. Wait for me. I'm coming. Give me maintenance. Wait for me. Dorothy, if you were a good woman, if you were a good wife, you will know that this situation isn't the time for you to act like this. <laughs> Steola needs to be fed. Feed her please. With what? My breast. <laughs> Just if I've told you you're a very stupid man. If you want your daughter to eat, get her something to eat. As for these two, they are off limits for her. Catch you. If you want her to eat, give her something to eat. Go and bring it for her. I cannot give myself for you too. What is this? Atlas woman. Atlas woman. Why you been so heartless? Oh na na. Knows where. Since you decided to stay at home and take care of your baby, me, I decided to go and look for me. So you can continue sitting here while I look for my baby. Doesn't matter. Continue being in the city. Don't continue. You used to be loved.
lovable. You promised me your undying love. You were the best couple on campus back then. <clears throat> Things went sour and your love died. It drifted away. Okay. If you hate me that much, what about your child? Our little baby. Why won't you just show her the love of a mother to a child? That is all I ask for. Pastor, Joseph, what a beautiful son. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of my love story. Dorothy, Diola needs breast milk. There is no breast for me to show today. Lazy man, go and look for job. The data wants breast. There is no breast for her to show. If you want her to eat, buy her. Hmm? Go and look for job. Give money and buy her baby milk. Does it mean this baby's cry? Does not touch or melt your heart. Your own baby. Just if I am hungry. If you want me to feed her, give me food. Ha! Huh? So you want me to breastfeed her on empty stomach? So you want to kill me? You want me to die before my time? It will not work for you. It will never work for you. I thought you said you went off the internet. You see why I call you a foolish? I told you I went out to you for You do not even ask me what you did. What did you sell? You're only interested in the money you sell, right? Why you been so heartless? Why you be so heartless? Live 
Joseph, I am tired. I do not wish to continue in this bondage called marriage. Look at what you've done. Heartless woman. Heartless woman. Who got this marriage? Heartless woman. Why are you doing this? Heartless woman. Oh, no, no. Correct. how Dorothy left Diola and I to fight. Your Majesty, you mean a mother left that sulky child and disappeared into thin air just like that? <sighs> Dorothy left and never came back. Your Majesty, did you put her looking for her? that uh, she was uh, later married to Rufus, our schoolmate, uh, one time SUG president of Unilag, whom uh, as uh, I got to know that uh, later became an oil magnet and business guru. Your Majesty, you mean your former wife Dorothy got married to Rufus? So I was told. So, one fateful day, on my usual hunt for job, I bashed into an old friend who resides in the United States of America. I miss you, fam. What are you doing here? I came to get my stuff from the laundry. I just dropped it in the car. When did you come back to Nigeria? Two weeks ago, bro. I just came back from America. How are you, fam? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But I had no idea. I didn't know you were around. I lost my mom. I'm so sorry about that, okay? I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Has she been buried? Yes, yes, yes. She's she sick. Week. Yes, she was sick of cancer. Let her kill her. But it's okay. It's okay, Jojo. It's okay. Ah, how are you doing, fam? I'm so sorry. My condolences, my brother. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I can remember your mother, such a woman with a heart of gold. I remember how she used to visit you back then in the lodge, and she would come with Amala and the Wedusu, and we all would dig. Ah, <laughs> yeah, this is your shop. Oh, come on, man. You need to be strong. You need to take heart, okay? It's okay, Jojo. It's okay. Let's forget about that. Jojo, take junior, like, take junior. Job hunting. Jojo. Jojo. Job hunting. Like him. What did man go do? Are you for him? Jojo. Jojo, let's go, let's go. Up in, up in. 
One of my guys. How does it feel to live the way you do? I can't bring my... Jojo! 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 My man! What a boy! Does it pay to be the way you are? You kill the joy around you. I took my daughter to my mother at a Pyokuta then. It was only option in my mind, as it were. The moment mommy set eyes on baby Diola, she called her Matilda. What? Matilda? Did you just say Matilda, Your Majesty? Yes. It was my mother, Madame Shabi. She called her Matilda. Will it be the Matilda I know? Out of frustration, I left with my best friend, Frederick, to the United States of America. Life in overseas was not an easy road for me. I spent a better part of my life in jail. So I didn't come back for my daughter, as I promised. I lacked uh, the wherewithal to do so, as it were. Your Majesty, how do you mean? Uh, well, uh, at some point, I uh, was suspecting I was under a curse. Because uh, exactly what was happening to me when I was in Nigeria happened over there when I was in US. It was out of jail that I met Joyce. I told Joyce my ordeal and she introduced me to her pastor. That was the beginning of my freedom. The pastor prayed for me and God delivered me of a curse that was placed on me by an old witch on childbirth. <laughs> the throne, Your Majesty. I mean, from all your story, you are supposed to be a Yoruba man. How come the throne of uh, Ozala Kingdom in Ebola? How come about it? An old man appeared to me in my dream and said his name was Omeka Naya, my father. He said that the, the throne of Ozala Kingdom awaits my return. He apparently told me to return to the Ozala Kingdom and ascend the throne of my forefathers. I woke up from the dream and was so confused. Then I recall that my late mother, Madame Sade, had told me her own part of the story, that my father's name was Omeka Naya, an evil man she had an affair with, and that the man was uh, on a clown call to return to the land of his forefathers. Hmm. It was after Omeka Naya my father had left. I told Joyce my story. She contacted her pastor. It was the same pastor who told me to return to Nigeria that my presence was highly needed. I left US back to Nigeria in search of Omekanaya, my father. When I got to the land of Osara Kingdom, alas, my father Omekanaya was no more. I met the land of Osara Kingdom in Shambos, simply because there was no one to crown the king. 
of course, uh, my father, Omeka Naya, had only girls in marriage to his late queen. But the chief priest uh, had revealed to them that uh, Igo Omeka Naya had a son from a Yoruba woman. I had to invite uh, Joyce to return from the U.S. to be my queen. The rest was a history. But before then, I had gone to uh, my mother, the big Diola, and reaching the palace. Uh, as I got there, I was told that Diola was taken to the motherless baby's home before my mother's death. All the while I was in prison, so there wasn't uh, an idea that my mother had died. I had to go to the motherless baby's uh, home that was directed to reaching the I was told that uh, one Sicilian uh, had adopted uh, Diola. The address was given to me. When I got there, it was so sad that the same Sicilian too had died. So, uh, the address uh, of the neighbors told me that the Sicilian's daughter couldn't pay the rent, so the landlord ejected her out of the house. Really, I cried. I cried. I cried so much because there was nowhere to see Matilda, my daughter. Your Majesty, from your story, I think I know where your daughter I is. Your Majesty, they allow Matilda now a big the chief Rufus's house. Rufus? The same Rufus that got married to Ferrati? Exactly, Your Majesty. In fact, Ferrati has made life a living hell for Matilda in that house. Matilda is a house help in her own mother's house all these years. Your Majesty, I'm afraid, yes. Surprised and shocked myself when uh, Igwe Joseph confided in me that uh, Dorothy abandoned Matilda when she was just barely three months old and ran off to marry Rufus. Mm. Anyway, I am coming with them to Asaba in less than no time. Uh, Igwe Joseph is uh, eager to see his daughter, whose circumstances have separated him from for a long time now. Actually, I'm driving back to my hotel suit to catch up some sleep. I'm so tired. I'll call you back later. Alright. Love you. Bye. 
My queen, I must tell you most sincerely, I am happy. I am happy. Honestly, my joy knows no bounds. But I told you she's gonna come back. Is it so? But, come to think of it. This world is such a small place. Tiwala. A house care. It's so fantastical, my queen. Hmm. What a think that a woman could abandon her three months old baby. Beats my imagination. What happened to her conscience? I can't imagine the kind of stuffs people do because of materialism. Well, I'm glad that finally Diola is coming back to where she rightfully belongs. Can I say that again? It's my joy. She's such a wonderful child. I'm so happy. God has a way of doing his own things. He in his wisdom brought Engineer Patrick your way. He made your path cross. Well, to God be the glory. I'm so happy. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> hey, Thelma. You won't believe what my ears had today. Mommy, what's going on? I talk to me. What's, what's going on? You sounded so tense on phone. Hey, let me talk to me now. What's going Dorothy on? Dorothy is fake. Dorothy has been living a fake life all this while. Hey. Mom, I don't understand what you're talking about. How? How? Fake? How? Finally, Nemesis has caught up with her. Let me talk to me now. What are you talking about? Talk to me. She is Matilda's mother. Hey! Mom, Matilda's mother. How? The same girl she hates so much. It's not possible. I heard she was once married. Mommy, Auntie Dorothy was once married. How? <laughs> no, Mommy, this can't be true. It's not... <sighs> Tell me. I heard she was once married to one king of Ozala kingdom and abandoned him for Rufus. <laughs> Mommy, hold on. You mean Auntie Dorothy was married to king of Ozala kingdom, Mommy, and nobody knew? Even me, I couldn't believe it. If not that your father called me from Ozala Kingdom and told me that she was once married to the king and left him for Rufus. Hey! Mommy, you mean Auntie Dorothy left a whole king of Ozala Kingdom for Rufus? Hey! Anyway, from the story I heard, they said the man was very very poor then that he couldn't fend for Dorothy and her three months old baby. That was why she left the marriage for Rufus. Mommy, wait, 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 wait. You mean Auntie Dorothy left a three month old baby all because of wealth? The same man she left for Rufus. Is now the king of Ozala Kingdom. Hey! And the same baby is in her house as her house help now. That is the world for you. I heard that the king and his queen will be coming to Asaba by the weekend. Hey! To take Matilda, of course. Of course. 
poor Matilda. Finally, I'm so happy for her. I was gonna last forever. Nobody was hey. dreamed of forever. You're all too meant for love what you do today. Cause tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. Oh, you don't even know. Well, This is my wife, Dorothy, my daughter, Olivia, and my son, Emmanuel. Um, good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, Olivia. Good afternoon, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Welcome. Um, I'm sure you all know her. She see Joma, member of our church. Yeah, she's here to work for us as our new housemaid. Yeah. You all know that Matilda is already engaged to Prince Afunwa, and um, she ceases to be the housemaid, so she's taking over from her. Okay. <laughs> Rufus. Yes. You just spoke gibberish. What? How could you go out of your way to get this thing without consulting me first? Dorothy. Well, I don't know what your problem is, but. Uh... In case you have forgotten, I am the head of this family. And I don't need your consent to execute anything, any action I want to carry out in my house. Okay? <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> head! Well, since you've said that Matilda ceases to be the house made in this house anymore, her appointment has been terminated by my so-called husband. So, I want her to leave this house this minute before I do something say. Mama, what? I can leave She should leave your side of house. Dorothy, this house belongs to me, and I decide whatever happens in the house. Yes, so Matilda stays until the prince comes to pay her bride price. Okay? My word, some people should just go and hide themselves. Honestly, Rufus, you should just go and hide yourself in a ignominy. You want to be father to that daughter of a lunatic when you can't even father a child. Dorothy. Yes. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. You bloody important. What? Did you just call me an impotent?
in command? You heard me. Very much. An infant. Oh, what? I will slap you. Our marriage, you couldn't get me pregnant. So I decided to end the issue of our childlessness on my own decision. So I brought him, I brought in my lover. I brought in Jerry, whom I told you was my younger brother. We made love at virtually every corner of the house we were living in back then. Including our, including our matrimonial bed. Before you could, you could say, Jack, I, I found out that I've missed my period. I'm sorry. 
and I meant to hurt you. <laughs> I was expecting that to giggle you. <laughs> so that's what I was thinking. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hey, where would you like us to spend our enjoy our Valentine this year? Valentine this year? Yes. Um, you give me a little time to give an answer. Oh, I, I thought you already had a place in mind. I have many places in mind if you don't know. I have many places in mind. Right. But I'm looking for the best. Okay. You can take all the time you want to look for a better place for us to go. Honey, babe, are you all right? Are you all right? I've noticed you throwing up lately. I, I think you should go visit the doctor. Doctor? Yes. Huh. <sighs> Sweetie, I'm fine. It's probably something I ate that is turning my tummy, but I'm all right. I'll be fine. You, you, you keep saying you're fine. You keep saying you'll be all right, but I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. You know, I married a beautiful woman. I should be worried about her health. <laughs> I'll be fine. I know. I know you'll be. Okay, bring your leg up here. I <laughs> told you I'll be fine. Well, that brings me to saying I insist you go visit our doctor. Let him run tests on you. I want to be certain what is wrong with you. I cannot rest until you're fine. Okay. I told you not to worry too much. But if you insist, I'll go see the doctor. Fine. Sounds better. Are you happy now? Of course. <laughs> have a sip of this to okay. revitalize your system. Yeah, that's good. Thank and you. I am thinking I should drink from yours rather than... Oh, come on. It's my lovely you woman. You cheat too much and I don't like Oh, it. baby, if I take your thing, you shouldn't be complaining. Cheesy. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to be a father. No, I'm going to be a father. Please come and sit down. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so happy. What? I know, I am. I'm glad myself, okay? You know what this calls for celebration. Just sit here. Let me go get us a bottle of champagne. Okay. All right? I'll be back. Oh my God, oh my God. I found out that you were happy. I don't want to spoil your joy. I, I did not want Jerry to find out what, what happened. So I pressurized you to, to 
two papers for Jerry to fly him abroad. I don't want to be put a son of a Are you important? I really want to have your shame. Because I've been in your shame. You lost all my shame. Sorry. All I've done was to protect your interest and your lineage. Sorry, please. I have some noise, then I went to check what it was. Noise, you say? Huh? And mm, uh, noise, yes. I heard some noise. And um, some policemen, they were in the neighborhood. Yes, um, they were in the neighborhood to arrest someone. That cocaine dealer. Which cocaine dealer? The one next door. Oh, that's nuisance. Yes, so, ha, he, you know they went to his house to arrest him, but they did not even see him there. They, they know how to arrest the lady they saw in his house. Can hey, you imagine? Mm. Yes. But, Oni, you shouldn't have gone out alone. You, you know it's not safe to go out at night alone. You should have woken me up at least. I mm, should go with you. Yes, I know, but you said you were tired. So I didn't want to disturb. Let's go back to bed, alright? Alright. I woke up and I was so sorry. everywhere for you. So sorry. Alright, let's sleep, okay? My sweet pie. I really want to keep you. I started pressurizing you every day. So to send Jerry to US to better his life as my kid brother. Because I had wanted to cover what I did. I don't want it to be in the light. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry I had to make you go home through that. I'm sorry I had to do all this under your nose. I'm sorry I couldn't get myself to tell you about the importance. I did all that because of fear that if Jerry found out, he might start making trouble of our babies. I told you concerning my brother Jerry. Dorothy, please don't start. Sweetheart, please. It's better than staying here doing nothing. Let him go out there and find something doing for himself, please. Dorothy, your brother is a graduate. Let him go out there and search for Joe. I know. He has done that already and he did not succeed. You know, there is no job in this country. You say so. Who said there's no job in this country, Dorothy? Look, if he can get a job, let him create one. He can become an entrepreneur for crying out loud. Look, there is no tree abroad that produces money. Listen, people abroad work for every money they earn. Please, don't mind those youths that travel abroad with drugs. The moment they are caught, they get killed. I am a real man, not a weakling. Mm -hmm. Look at him boast. <laughs> am I lying? No. <laughs> ah. Come to think of it, that we force of a man is a fool. Jerry, did you just call a man to stay in his house, eat his food? and drive his cars foolish. It is only a foolish man that will live under the same roof with a man who is sleeping with his wife without him knowing. Jerry, in as much as I enjoy your services, I will not tolerate you insult my husband in any way. Don't do that. I've heard you, Ma. Oh, Dorothy, your husband is rich. Why are you being so stingy? Satan will let me leave this house. Satan will let me live here in peace. Because I am not going to leave this house without being settled. He has to pay me for doing what he cannot do. Which is? Servicing you, of course. <laughs> Jerry, you are very stupid. You are ingrates and idiots. Look at you. Hey. I must do well to hey. convince him to take me out of this country. 
else? Else what? I will talk. What? I will expose our illicit affair. I will make him understand the kind of lifestyle his loving wife is living with her so-called brother. That's my husband. That's my husband. Is that a royal cuteness? <laughs> the princess of my life. Welcome back. It's fine. I've missed you. Yeah, I know. Hmm. How was the day? Well, I, I had a hectic day at work. Oh, I'm sorry. What I need now is warm bath and mm. good rest. Okay. Okay. You go do that. Hmm. I have a surprise for you. You do? I love the sound of that. I made your favorite. Woo! <laughs> Before we go there. Come, let's go. You go fresh now. Tell your brother Jerry to present his passport to me first thing tomorrow morning before I leave the house. His passport? Yes, wait, his wait, passport. Wait. Honey, you're not joking, right? Oh, come on, I'm not joking. You're not joking. You've been pressuring me to send your brother abroad, and I'm ready to send him abroad. <laughs> Anything for you, of course I can. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. It's fine. Anything for you, Oliver. You're such a girl. Can I go now? Fine. Fix your name. It's alright. Please let me go with this one. While you prepare my favorite. Okay. Done. I've been waiting for my favorite. Done. <laughs> Can, can you see the difference? I can understand. In the video, I mean. Mm. So this hairstyle, which one? Uh, I'll say I prefer the former one. It makes him look more unique. You can see it. What? No, <laughs> he, I think I like this one better. So you're politely disagree with me, right? You had your own opinion. <laughs> I just said mine. I'm not disagreeing with you. It's fine. Uh, sweetness, can you please call your brother? Uh, yeah, Jerry. I got your traveling documents. Of course you can have it. It's yours. It was yours. <laughs> they are your traveling documents. <gasps> ah, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, my God, you continue to bless you. My God, you continue to bless your family. Your business will continue to grow. Thank you. Hi, sister. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Wow. Yes. Hey. Thank you so much, honey. Uh, that's okay. Anything for you, of course. Okay. Uh, and you, Jerry. Sir. Yes. Uh, it's all right, Jerry. 
Um, remember something. Over there, you meet the good, the bad, and the ugly. I trust you'll be a good boy, right? Sure, I will. I, I promise to be the good boy I have always been. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! And one more thing. When you travel over there, please do not forget your family. Okay? That's very important. Sure, I will not. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Both emotionally and psychologically ready for this trip. He's been pining over this for It's obvious. Come on, baby. Thank you so much. We've accomplished one thing together. <laughs> Two years after I gave birth to Olivia, I couldn't get pregnant. And Jerry was long gone to the United States of America. I brought in Maxwell, another boyfriend of mine. Maswell. I used Maswell to get pregnant for for Emmanuel. I told you he was my cousin. Maswell is Emmanuel's father. But that was all for you. fooled me. You've been fooling me all this while. Today is your last day in this house. Now, get out of this house before I blow your head off. Zaki! Zaki! Go upstairs with her, get her face, and let her get out of my house this minute. Now! Nothing's gonna last forever, nobody will stay under forever. Be mindful of what you do today, cause tomorrow is not sure. Be careful what you do. 
Be careful what you do. Wild woman, be careful what you do. Be careful what you do right now. Tomorrow's gonna come. Engineer Patrick. Chief Rufus. What brings you here? This is Igwe Joseph Omeka Naya, the king of Osala Kingdom. <clears throat> He's here to see his daughter, Matilda. Really? Yes. His daughter, Matilda? Exactly. But they said Matilda is an orphan. How come her father is a king? Well, that's what we are meant to believe. But uh, after hearing his story, I decided to bring him here. He was married to Dorothy when he was nobody. He just left the uh, University of Lagos as an accountant then. He was working with a friend. And uh, when he lost his job, he could not fend for his wife and uh, the newborn baby, Deola. Mambo is Deola. Mambo is Deola. <laughs> what is going on here? Mom! Mom, you're confusing me. Who is Diola? Adiola! Mom? and run away to marry dad? You are now a king. Well, yes. A lot happened after my former wife Dorothy here abandoned my three months old baby Diola and ran away. Dorothy? I, I never knew she was married, let alone having a child. What have you done, Dorothy? I don't know. <laughs> As soon as I came back from the States, I tried to look for you. Ha <laughs> ha 
I didn't love her like my daughter. I love her as my daughter because she is my daughter and she remains my daughter anytime, any day. Asian kingdom awaits your return.
What do you want me to do now? Eh? I, I can't watch you die out of frustration. I can't. Okay, I know what I'm 
tired. I'm tired. In as much as I'm feeling for him. Come in. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Joma. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Daddy. I came to check up on you. Oh, that's very nice of you. As you can see, I'm better. Good to hear that you're better. Thank you, Joma, for yesterday. I really appreciate it. You're very much welcome, Daddy. What would you want to have for breakfast? Breakfast? Um... Don't worry, Daddy. I know what to prepare for you. I trust you. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> it's all right. You're excused. Thank you, Daddy. Up to this early. Ah, you know, I've not been to the office lately. So I decided to go so that I can see or know what is happening there. Okay. So, what do you have for breakfast? Ah. You can come and say it for yourself. <laughs> I trust you. Trust you. <laughs> Forever. 
Be mindful of what you do today, cause tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. Oh, you don't even know what woman. Be careful what you do, cause you don't even know. You don't even know. Be careful things you do Tomorrow will come You're not even sure So make you feel good oh. Make you do good oh. Make you do the right thing oh. Feel good oh. Make you do good oh. Make you do the right thing Cause you're not even sure Proud woman Be careful what you do Be careful what you do Wild woman Be careful what you do Be careful what you do Right now Tomorrow's gonna come I said I'm fine. They wash clothes. Mm -mm, I'm dancing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, you know the Takichi today? I did. Yeah. Hey, IJ, I can ask you this question. This one where Oga come out today, it is surprised me. You know, say, since some of my dad and carry children come out for this house, I never use my two eyes, see Oga. <sighs> it has not been easy for him. <laughs> hmm? At least, as a human. Me, myself, I've tried to put my legs in that shoes. How can a man live with the fact that his two children are his, only to realize that they are not his children? Woman. Woman. You know go better for woman. IJ, you know go better for woman. What is wrong with you? Stop it. See, what they tell you, eh? You say as I did, swear, I don't go marry. I don't feel married woman because this is my heart, don't you see so? They're very much important. Don't be saying, no, can you give woman? May break her for ground for me. So, what are you saying? What are the time you say? You see, marriage, I don't go marry. I don't go marry. Can't you, man? It's woman. your choice. Eh? Hey. Ajay, make I ask you this important question. You don't no go like marry Oga. You know, say Oga get money. And Oga money long. You don't go marry him. Are you okay? Ha! Which kind of monkey should be this one? I be like who they seek. I be like that. I be more they walk out for road. See me as I swear. 
Now be number one gate man, chief security officer in this compound. I dey get the Nobody fit pass. I dey very okay. When that they you say, I want me marry Oga. I be, you know, one day on top. <laughs> hey. <laughs> thank you. In fact, no thank you. Eh? For your information, Mr. Getman, Daddy is a deacon in our church. So he will never stood so low to this your stupid and nonsense advice you're giving to me. See this one. Wait first. Now me they call get man. Man, I tell you, I don't be ordinary get man. I'll be chief security officer in this compound. Mm -hmm. Even you where they say if you mess up, I arrange you. See, first of all, I won't help. You know, since I help, I won't help you see that to me, marry or that. Really? And they talk about marriage, they talk about another thing. What now they tell you say now marriage, now they talk about. In fact, who they, see who I won't even help. You must not help all about this me, Mario. Thank you. See this one. I don't need your help. Take your help elsewhere. God's time is up. You go, oh, do. Did I tell you I'm getting time complaining? You carry by me to go to church. You. Ha. See this one. So at your age, now, you see they like house help. Poverty. See, see, see who I want help. I don't blame you. Oh, 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 God time is the best, oh. God time is the best. Allow me, let me get old. God will never allow me to get old. I will not get old, oh. God time is the best. I see if I'm begging for your advice. I'm suffering. You don't even know what comes next. My good friend. I actually want to start by apologizing to you for not making it to the welcome party of your lost but found daughter, the princess of Ozala Kingdom. I actually went to Asaba with my son for his formal marriage introduction. Yes. Oh, objection killed. He will do that. How did the introduction go? It didn't hold your highness. I don't understand. Sadly, by the time we got there, we were told that the girl we were coming for had left the house. My good friend, it was a drama. They said the father came and took her away. Wasn't the man she was staying with her father? Wasn't the man she was staying with her father? My good friend, it was a drama. I was seriously embarrassed. The girl in question was their house help. An offer. Can you beat that? An offer? Yes. A house care? Yes. Um, it would do not. But what is the name of the man she was staying with? I think one Rufus Uzondo. What? Rufus? Do you know him? Yes, I know Rufus. In fact, my daughter that I thought was long dead was serving the family as, as a home care. Are you sure of what you just said? Um, um, Your Highness, please, can I, can I ask you a question, Your Highness? This daughter of yours that you're talking about, please, what's her name? Um, uh, Diola uh, Matilda. The material that you talked about, please, in request, Your Highness, 
Is she in this house? Yes, she's here. Where is she? Matilda! I can't believe what this. this Matilda! I can't. Where is she? This? Matilda! Matilda! My good friend, the Matilda we are talking about now is your biological daughter. What a word. Yes, she is. When she was three months old, I ran off to marry Rufus. Ha! My good friend, Igwe Joseph, on behalf of my son, Prince Afumwa Elotanma, the Crown Prince of Okuzolan, may I seek your permission to announce to this household that will be coming in three days' time for the formal introduction and wine carrying. <laughs> My good friend. It's <laughs> My good friend. Cheers to when you begin in dress. <laughs> I am so surprised. I'm dazed. <laughs> like, how do I believe this? You see, you're the last person I expect to see in the apartments of Osala Kingdom. Sincerely speaking, it beats my imagination. I don't know what to say. I never knew I'm royalty. You are the princess of Osala Kingdom. But I was meant to believe you are my friend. Or was that a scam? I am scam. It's not even in my DNA. I was never aware of my true paternity. Yes, so I didn't scam you. At this point, I wouldn't stop being grateful to God Almighty because I am believing that that accident was orchestrated by him in his own wisdom. So I think Mrs. Dorothy is your mother, you know, Given the whole stress and starvation and frustration she put you through, that woman is mean. She's heartless. Yeah, she is. But I've forgiven her. Yes. I can't possibly bear grudges for the rest of my life. She's my biological mother. I love her still. Just like that. You really have a good heart. You have an amazing personality too. <laughs> You're special. I know I am special. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> about my mother, Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy is the last person I want to discuss now. Father, I understand. Your feelings are valid. I understand how you're feeling right now. 
What she did is bad in the sight of God and man. She didn't treat me well at all. But I've forgiven her even before now, regardless. I would want you to forgive her. Oh, no, no, no. Wives, you are before my presence. Please sit down. Fa Father, forgive my mother, please. I don't want you to carry such burden, such load on your mind. I want you to set her free. To err is human, to forgive is divine. When you told me you were a born again Christian, I felt very elated because that shows you are a child of God. That shows you know and respect God. And if you are a child of God, you should learn how to forgive. If you are a child of God, you should learn how to let go. I don't want you to keep holding grudges for her. I pray you forgive her. I ask you let go. Please, however you look at it, she's my biological mother and she will always be. I want you to forgive her. My precious. Father. I... I forgive Dorothy. Alone. I... You took after Mary and everything alone. I was just seeing her picture on your face. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Are you sure? Oh. From your heart. Trust me. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. I love you so much. You're welcome. God will bless you. God will keep you in good health, in wisdom, and in happiness. I'm glad you're my father. How does it feel to lead the way? Is there any other thing I want for you? No. No, no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for you. I'm also very happy for myself. Mm. Yes. We are so lucky to have Prince Afuma as a husband. He's a nice man. I'm very cute too. But I'm bothered. So it won't bother so much. What seems to be the problem? Mother, I called Chief Rufus because I needed to speak with my biological mother. Mm -hmm. But he said he doesn't know where my mother took Olivia and Noel to. I know everyone is mad at her. I know she hasn't done noble, but she's still my mother. Tomorrow is my marriage. I don't want to get married without informing my mother. However you look at it, she's my mother. If not the fact that she brought me into this world, maybe I wouldn't have been here. So, I can't find myself to hate her. I can't wrap my head around it. I just want to speak with them. And Noel. 
Emmanuel showed me so much undiluted, genuine love mm. whilst I was living with them. I would want him to be around on my big day. Even Olivia. I've forgiven everyone. But unfortunately, I can't reach my mother. It's okay, my princess. I understand how you feel. Seriously, I do. My princess, your words melt me. You're a woman with a heart of gold. And your kind is rare to find. Thank you. You're welcome. Madam, your soul is blood. And we need a machine blood. Since you and your daughter's blood did not wash, I would advise you to call his father. Doctor, his father is not within reach. So where is he? I don't know. Mommy, Emmanuel must not die. Tell us where his father is. My friend should come out up. Must you open that nonsense? Madam, if his father is not around, you can as well get blood from my blood bank. Please. Doctor, I don't have money. I don't have any money for that. And I, I can't vouch for any blood. You know there are so many diseases around. Uh, How can I go for blood that I don't know about? Well, madam, I'm a very busy man. I have other patients waiting for me. So when you make up your mind, you can let me know. Okay. Excuse me. Mom, Noah must not die. Who is his father? Eh? Where is he? How can we find his father? His father is dead. Mom, you're lying. Noah's father is not dead. You confessed months ago that Noah's father is still alive. Is shot your mouth Why up? not call him so that he can donate blood for his son? Eh? Do you want Noel to die here? I, I, I don't understand all this. So. I tell you, how can you be sitting down here and be watching your son? Just look at Noel's state. You don't want to call his father so that he can drink his blood. Who knows? His blood might be the solution to this problem. Mommy, call him, I beg. Let him drink his blood. Let's save Noel's life. You. And don't make me do that. Let me think of what to do. I'll shut the mouth off. You better think fast. Doctor, my mother's life has been a complicated one. How do you mean? Noel and I have been living with Jifu Force from birth, thinking he was our father. Not until some months ago, my mother confessed that she had us from different men. So you mean your mother is married to Chifu Force? Yes, sir. Oh. Um. So what now happened? Tell me. <sighs> Doctor, it's a very long story. And I don't want to bother you with the details. All I can tell you now is that my mother confessed that we are not Chifu Force's biological children. Oh. So, uh, what do you want me to do now? Doctor, please, I want you to call Chief first. But you said he's not a biological father. So there's no need calling him. I know that Chief Force is a very good man and he has a wonderful heart. There's no way that he will hear that Noel is in the hospital and he will not rush to come and see him. Please, just call him. Let's try our way, please. So why, why can't you call him yourself? Doctor, if I call Chief Force, he will not take my calls. He won't take my calls at all. Even if it's my mom that is trying to call him, he won't take her calls either. That's why I am begging you to help us, please. Please, sir. Please. It's okay. Uh, <coughs> let, me, let, me, let me call him. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, this is Chief Rufus. Who am I speaking with, please? Uh, Chief Rufus. Uh, this is Dr. Phil from Havana Hospital. Ah! Dr. Phil! 
What a pleasant surprise. Yes, Chief. Oh, Chief, your son is hospitalized as we speak. What? What is wrong with him? Oh, oh, Chief, he is seriously sick. So, what is his situation right now? Oh, Chief, we may lose him if nothing is being done urgently. It's alright, though. In as much as I have scores to settle with the mother, just go ahead and treat him. I will take off the bills, okay? Emmanuel is healed. And I will advise you come to the hospital. Please, Chief. Well, in that case, uh, get in touch with Dorothy Thomas. Let her take up that angle, okay? Uh, Chief, please. We just want to take a blood sample. Who knows? We never can tell. Doctor, you can't understand, okay? Oh, Chief, I understand perfectly. Okay, just try and come, please, sir. It's all right, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Doctor, please, what did he say? Is he coming? Doctor, please, what did he say? Is he coming? A very big thank you for honoring my invitation. I really appreciate it. Um, it's okay, doctor. We don't have much time. Since you're here, I would like us to go to the business of the day. We don't have much time. It's all right. So, uh, what exactly do you want me to do? Okay, let's go to the lab so that we can take your blood sample. Okay. okay thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Yes, Chief. Oh, Chief, I'm glad to announce to you that you are the donor we'll be looking for. I... I don't understand. Chief, I will do the explanation later. We don't have much time. I would like you to follow me to the lab so that we can take the blood. Look, Doctor, you don't seem to understand what I told you. I am not the biological father of that young man. Chief, please. We need to save Emmanuel's life. It is very important. Please. Doctor. What is going on here? Chief, don't worry. Let's save this young man's life first. I will do this explanation later. Very big thank you for this blood step. You see, the ways of God are different from the ways of me. I don't even know how to tell you this. Dr. Phil, you are getting me all confused. Well, Chief, we ran some tests and we are still going to do more. But from the look of things, it seems Emmanuel is your son. Excuse me? Yes, Chief. Doctor. Yes, Chief. What did you just say? Um, 
doctor. So, what is the result of the DNA test? Chief, you will not believe it. Emmanuel is your son. Really? Yes. This is the result. Yes, Chief, we have had cases like this in the past. Doctor, you mean Emmanuel is my son? Chief, Emmanuel is your blood. This is unbelievable. So I'm a man after all. Eh? Wow. Um, okay, tell me, did you also carry out a DNA test? On Olivia. Yes, we did. Okay. So, um, is she also my daughter? Well, um, I'm afraid, Chief. She's not. I knew it. I mean, that kind of a girl cannot be my daughter. I mean, if I see my blood, I will know. <laughs> wow. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Doctor. So, um, I'm a man. I'm not infertile. Eh? Chief, you are very, very fertile. Wow. I knew it. I knew it. You see, the day Dorothy took Emmanuel away from me, I was looking at him. I said, this is my son. But my hands were tied. Eh? So I'm, I'm a man. <laughs> ah, doctor. I'm a father. Shall we? Ah! Shall we? Let's back up, please. Oh. Ah. Let's go. I want to see myself. Thank you. Atlas woman. Atlas woman. Why you be so heartless? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, my son. It's not your son. Will you keep quiet? I will not. Shut up! If you spill nonsense from that thing you call mouth again, I will shut it for you. Idiot! For your information, Mom, a DNA test was carried out on both Noel and I, and the results stated that Noel is Chief Rufus's biological son. You lie that Chief Rufus is impotent. You witch. Olivia, did you just call me a witch? Me, your mother. If you try that again, I will slap the living dead out of your face. Are you alright? You're not only a witch, but you're a Jezebel. You go about breaking men's hearts. You abandoned your three months old baby and ran away to marry Chief Rufus. You had everything at your beck and call. Yet you went about sleeping with small small boys. Ah! A married woman. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? You said your first husband was poor. You married Chief Rufus who is very rich. Stay with your husband. No. Ha! Huh. Oh, I detest you. Now look at where your promiscuity has landed me to. I hate you. Foolish woman. I never want to see you again. I never want to see you again! Rubbish! Daddy, I'm happy you are recuperating very fast. So you get well soon so that we can go home, okay? I'm going home with you. Of course, you are going to your father's house. Not bad, Auntie Matilda. Matilda got married to Prince Afumwa six months ago, and uh, they presently reside at uh, the United States of America. What about sister Ijoma? My Ijoma. 
<laughs> Ijoma is fine. You will meet her when we get to and um, I'm concerned. Everybody is fine. Just get well so that we can go home. We reunite with your family, okay? I love you so. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, please. Forgive me. I beg you. Did you just call me, sweetheart? No, did you? If you dare call me that name here again, I will pull out your eyes. My sweetheart, Ijoma, is at home. Okay? Oh. Idiot. What are you still doing here? Please, sir. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, please. I'm begging you, please. You are sorry? Yes. No, you are sorry. Now get out. Hmm? Will you get out of this place? Idiot! Get out! Atlas woman. If I see you and eat close to me, why you be so heartless? I don't need to pronounce what I want to do. Oh, no, no. Why are you crying? Be a man, okay? No, okay. You be so heartless, Ooh -hoo. heartless, heartless. Oh. Ijoma. Ijoma. Yes, Daddy. Please come. Okay. Good afternoon, Daddy. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you, Daddy. Uh, please get me a glass of water. Okay, Daddy. So, um, how are you? Um, um, uh, Dad, I, I want to discuss something with you. Emmanuel, you always have something to talk about. Can't this one at least wait till I finished having my shower? No, Dad, it's important. Ah. Baby, here is the water. Thank you. Ah. Drop it, you can go. Drop it. Down. Okay. Okay, baby. You're welcome. Emmanuel, yes, then. 
You said you have something to say to me. Can't you just wait until I finished uh, having my shower? Dad, it's very important I talk to you about it. Uh, so, what is it all about? Dad, it's about Sister Ijoma. Ijoma? Yes, Dad. What about her? Dad, I... I want you to marry her. What are you talking about? Dad, are you not saying it? She's a good lady. She depicts the kind of woman that you need right now. That you're not saying anything. I think I need to have my show now. Bring my briefcase upstairs, okay? How does it feel Dad, I think you need to think about what I've just said. Daddy. Yes, my dear. Yes, my dear. This for your crystal at least. This why you are squeezing and smiling like this. <laughs> it's like you have something to say. Spill it out. Okay. Daddy, I I have good news for you. Go ahead. I love good news. I am pregnant. Really? Wow. You're pregnant? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes. Here is the PT results. The pregnancy test result? Yes. for celebration, Dad. <laughs> Don't tell me you've been eavesdropping on our discussion. Uh, not really. I, I was just passing by and I had the good news, Dad. How does it feel you are a bad boy. Oh, I know. You are a bad boy. Now, get me wife. No, what? Straight, we need to celebrate you. Is 
such a vanity. Oh, oh. Yeah. 